Oh, baby. I hope y'all are ready to game. Thanks to the noble efforts of Captain Sverga, but also Harry and YouTube chat, I appreciate all the tech support. Dreams do come true because the DLC is now is now visible. Yeah, I if I well, man. What a what a hell of a thing. But we got there. We got there. In the in the process I learned how to emulate PSN because I thought that might be part of the problem. Turns out it wasn't, but still, we back. And now this menu option's here, so... Onward and upward, every day. But now we get the full story. The full tale. Uh, apologies if I bait and switch to you with Dragon's Dogma. But I'll probably get to that today. Um, did you see the new Twitch update? How new? If it was today, probably not. That does look kind of Animatrix-y. There's something very, very like squishy and deformed about Animatrix biology. It's kind of Ghost in the Shell as well. But Ghost in the Shell makes sense because it's all about transhumanism and on a more fundamental level, a, a very Shirao slash Geiger-esque deformation of the, the human figure. I feel like the, um, remember the animated interlude from Kill Bill had that look? Very, like, neck snapping. Partner plus update. It made it easier for partners to get 70-30 split. Awesome. Hooray. That's great. They're trying, man. People love to shit on Twitch, but... Oh, a downgrade on Prime? I was waiting for that. What's the downgrade? Does Prime not get you ad-free anymore? Is it, like, not just a free sub? Maybe I should just read. Maybe we should just read it. Anyway, forge on ahead. <sighs> they're doing, like, they're doing the right thing. They're operating Twitch like I wish the United States economy were, uh, were operated. Whoa, you get less from Prime subs now, about $1.80. Shit, that sucks. I guess they're, okay. That's a, that's a significant amount less. That's like half. Uh, but, eh. Prime, Prime has been a has been a delightful crutch for a long time. A lot of money comes from Amazon Prime. That's the other thing, man. Like people like to people like to complain, but the line item on your on your revenue, like the Prime thing there, it's pretty good. Or at least it was. I figured I figured Twitch was was probably taking a hit on Prime or Prime integration. I always wondered where that came from. Hey Gandhi, thanks for the dollar eighty. Appreciate that dollar. That's interesting too, cause um, hmm, if Prime gets gets you out of ads, now there's no way that a single person watching ads would generate a dollar eighty. Yeah, NB. I don't think any. I certainly never thought. Um, I never thought that uh, the Prime shit was gonna be sustainable. Yeah, I'll 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 take a read over it. Yeah, the the deal's getting worse all the time, but that was always the case, right? I don't know. I I feel a little I feel like I'm a bit of an outsider because I wasn't expecting the uh the tech company free for all to last forever. So I've always been I've always been waiting for this. Oh, it was production IG? That makes sense. I never saw Jinro. Oh. Damn. I should, uh, I should watch everything from Gynax. Huh? That seems like a good idea. Ugh. All right, it's time to forge ahead. After emerging victorious over his former master, Ashram, Asura moves forward. His body battered and torn, he faces off against the Goma that threatened a village. What was going through his mind? How did he overcome such impossible odds? A part of Asura's story that no one knows will be revealed. Bang. Based on building up the burst gauge through successful inputs. Okay. Is it a pure QTE episode then? This is so much louder than the rest of the game. Hey, Fully Zauer. Thank you for the 24 months of subs. 
Yeah, the audio mix is too loud in this. It's actually blown out. Man, they were still trying to figure that out back then. Now we're playing Dragon Slayer. I don't know. Games just aren't imaginative in their format. People will have too rigid concepts about what qualifies as value. Japan never seemed to have that problem. Visual novels, uh, like life management software. I guess to I guess the home PC or the console as home PC was always more of an idea. So the idea that your game console could also be an interactive multimedia device. Um, never really landed in the US. You play games. And then if you also play movies, that's cool too. But yeah. This is the game that people wrote off and made fun of because the ending was in the DLC. But this is what the DLC's like! Fuck off, man! I can't remember for sure, but I think Asher's Wrath, and specifically the way people treated Capcom in the early 2010s, was one of the earliest examples of gamers chewing off their own arms and legs for no reason. Bionic Commando is fucking awesome. And it's one of the greatest, like, one of the greatest displays of outright snootiness from gamers to turn their noses up at that. The regular ending is sort of a cliffhanger. I, I remember it, like, it definitely implied there was more, but it didn't necessarily, like, it was kind of cheeky like the rest of the game was. It didn't seem, like for me at least, it didn't seem exploitatively out of bounds. And also by the time I was at the end of the game, I wanted more. So I was... On paper, it's it was so much worse than it was in game. Which means that everyone who was mad about it didn't actually play it and weren't the actual targets of the, the content anyway. So it was just a bunch of gamers getting histrionic about something they didn't understand because they were afraid of something else entirely. Now, you could say that that's Capcom's failing for not messaging it properly, and that's certainly a thing, too. Game companies were not great at massaging messages back then. Mother! Yeah, he's getting wrecked up. Yeah, no, I get it. I get it. Um, I can't... I can't blame anyone for being mad at this, the headlines. I feel like it was also a failing of games media to not even try to push forward an alter another narrative because games suffered man projects like this sinking to the bottom of the ocean it it deserved defending god that 90s anime look
so good. I remember when I played this the first time and I hit this and I was like, oh man, it's half over? Fuck! Like, I just wanted it to keep going. Well, I gotta admit, it does make me happy that Remedy and Alan Wake 2 managed to, to catch a little heat. Who knows what the sales are actually like, but... Alan Wake 2 had an art film inside of it. Fucking sick. Oh, I miss it. Hey, Death Moon. Yeah, we got there. Thanks to a lot of support from from chat. I was finding some very ancient forum threads trying to trying to troubleshoot this issue. A lot of uh, a lot of dead links from another time. Like linking to domains that have outright just like been purchased and sold several times over that aren't even remotely what they used to be. This is getting me hyped up for Tekken though, I have to admit. beg Capcom enough they'll do another Ashra's Wrath? Hey, anything is possible these days. What's Cyber Connect up to? What what studio did they become? Are they still active? I remember, uh, I said this last time, but after this and Ninja Storm, I was like, man, Cyber Connect 2 is doing some intense work. But that was also like right before the world or the, the United States collectively decided to stop caring about J Japanese games. Man, this, things like Child of Eden, El Shaddai. The few Japanese games that could break through at least were trying something. It wasn't all just like bald space marines with sex mini games. They're doing a Demon Slayer game? That's kind of cool, I think. I should check in with them. Very primal imagery. When are Americans going to use Twin Towers imagery the way that Japanese creators use nuclear bomb Im imagery? Huh? Are we ever going to be that, like, willing to explore our own national psyche? People meme it hard. It's got to come from like the ground up. It could prove useful. Blankenship. Thanks for the sub. That was fucking sick. America will never. It's going to have to be in like a thousand years if the United States is still around. Or will our ignorance eat? Will we eat ourselves in our ignorance? Maybe I'll find out in my time. <laughs> From the ground zero up. Yeah. I can see so many conservatives getting upset about it. Yeah, it's weird. There's a... I think for better and worse, there's definitely a culture of just not, not talking outside of your lane in Japan. It's just not your business. The kind of... well... 
that lack of, of like public censure, it can lead to some awful shit happening in the shadows. So I'm not saying it's, it's only for the benefit of art, but it does seem to help uh, take the boundaries off of artistic output. Um, I mean, I, actually, I wasn't even thinking about it. Even within the confines of artistic output, you still get some messed up shit that could deserve some public shame. There are a lot of youths in Japan revolting to that entire concept nowadays. Yeah, it seems like it's a more outspoken culture, or at least it was. This is at least in the United States. I feel like I feel like the the zeitgeist is shifting away from uh, outspoken public correctness. Moving much, it feels maybe this is just maybe I'm just projecting, but it seems like people are a little burnt out trying to police the world through the internet. Yeah, the best horror games are all Japanese because they aren't afraid to dive into the human psyche. Some European films get that way. But yeah, Americans are like too hung up on sex, too hung up on too many things, too infatuated with violence. Um, you get some great horror movies because of that, but it's like it's not the it's not the truth. Uh, you know, Halloween is complicated and has layers if you want to read into it. Uh and it's a good horror movie because of those things, but... Hell yeah, S-Rank. Oh, even more lore. Shinto. The block of a residential area. Oh. European horror movies are nuts. Yeah. There's the Italian stuff, which is certainly unashamed. Uh, I could I could say that unburdened with shame, but like uh, I was thinking more recently, you know. I feel like um, before I speak too far out of my out of my ass, I assume Ari Aster is not American. He is American. Well, shit. More of a, definitely more of a world sensibility out of Aster's films. I think Hereditary might be the most, like, honestly American horror film in a while. Or at least it's, it's honest some about the American family experience, I think. And how, like, horrifically toxic it can be. Ooh. I gotta, yeah, I I really gotta watch Bo is Afraid. I was super excited for that. I, I I might be on a Joaquin Phoenix. I haven't seen uh, I Was Never Here, and I want to watch that too, but yeah. It's long, though, so I, you know, I'm waiting to have a, a solid evening where I'm not gaming. Have you heard? Have you heard? They say Asura, the fallen, purified a gigantic goma single-handedly. I thought only the seven deities were capable of purifying Goma of that size. Lord Argus was supposedly in the area as well, but his whereabouts are now unknown. Could he have been defeated? One can only assume. The Fallen was mantra affinity was wrath, after all. Man, Black Phone was really good. Mantra affinity? Didn't you ever pay attention in school? The eight mantras! Pride, lust, greed, sloth, vanity, violence, melancholy, and wrath. These are the eight special mantra types. Each of the seven deities has an affinity with one, and Asura, the fallen, has an affinity with wrath. In the days of the eight guardian generals, a mantra affinity was bestowed upon each of the generals. When a general retired, the affinity was passed down to a successor. But there is nothing to be concerned about. Lord Deus's mantra affinity is pride, the mantra bestowed upon only the most worthy of ruling over Shinkoku. Wrath affinity or not, the fallen one is no match for Lord Deus. Indeed, 
There is nothing that can threaten the power of Shinkoku. So smug. So smug. We'll have to bust up Shinkoku. Alright, back to the game. The previously scheduled game. Who is Asura and why are they so mad? Asura is one of... One of eight divine generals. Each of which associated with a particular mantra as you just saw. It's kind of like Seven Deadly Sins-ish. He, uh, Asura was betrayed by Lord Deus, cast into Naraka for 10,000 years. Actually, 12,000 and 500, I think, at this point. He keeps getting cast down into Naraka, and we, we skip forward a few centuries. The whole meanwhile, his daughter, his pure, innocent daughter, was captured and basically forced into slavery to amplify banks of spiritual energy that demons are harvesting off of poor innocent people living below because the gods are stockpiling mantra to reboot the universe so they're basically storing up life energy to, to start everything over uh, and Asura is pretty, pretty peeved about that getting betrayed and having his daughter held in captivity so he's on the warpath Fighting his way out of out of Naraka and has already taken down two, three, three, three of the generals in spectacular, big, punchy, screamy anime fights, wrathful fights. Don't worry about it too much. This is running on a PS3 emulator, Samurai Dan. Hey, Lolinus, welcome back. She put a little S-H on there. Ashura. Mm. <laughs> Completely foreign culture, don't understand their language, but gosh, is an anime still an anime? She's pigeon-toed too, I think. Man. So she's got to die, right? You can't do a cute hop like that and stay alive in Ashra's Wrath. Actually, wait, where did that baby go? I think that baby actually did get killed. Off screen. They all got sucked into like a freaking lava crack, right? Man, maybe, um, maybe Last Guardian is playable on emulator, because it kind of wasn't on PS3. They did a remaster though, right? Yeah, Harry. It's pretty cool, right? I didn't expect that. That, like, once games got about 10 years old, they would just be treated as abandonware. It makes sense now that we're here. And honestly makes me a lot less concerned about the future of the internet and the future of gaming. I feel like there's always going to be an enthusiast scene that will ensure that games are, like, backed up playable. And they'll operate at a layer where it's not making money, so companies aren't going to come after them. The problem is, it's assuming a lot on the future generosity of 
smart, uh, kind people who volunteer their, their expertise and their time to do all that. Um, I always try to hit up coffees and stuff whenever there's file servers or, or emulators or any, any like free tool. It's a nice option. Thanks for gifting a sub. Ooh, the Sephiroth. Asura has been detected. Asura. VCR store owner and Cowboy Bebop. Yeah, there's always going to be a guy. I will not allow him to Even if you, you have to spend like half a day traveling the internet, asking questions in various discords. It'd be nice if it weren't like that, but the only, honestly, like the only alternative, and I get why people who talk about game preservation never take it here, but this is really it, is that you have to like vote in a public endowment for the arts. It has to be a public work. And then that involves you going around with a clipboard, getting signatures to bookmark, to earmark government money for the preservation of video games. So yeah. You will not stop us. People are just doing it on the internet. It'd be nice if the government paid them for it because they are providing a service to society. Dude, wouldn't that be sick? Sorry, I spilled water on myself a little bit. But like tax the shit out of tech companies and then use part of that money on a public work to back up and maintain previous versions of the of that product but that would just that'd be kind of like i don't know though isn't that isn't that sort of like nationalizing those private works of art i guess you wouldn't own it but yeah it does kind of all have to be hush hush doesn't it Awesome. Yeah, it's the combat is not too dissimilar from God of War reboot, uh, which is not something I th expected. It still it still leans a little bit more towards like Capcom character action, even though it's technically not Capcom. God of War is maybe a little more Dark Souls uh, than this. Definitely, like, what's interesting is, is some of that friction can even be felt in this game, though. Where the camera's not quite as zoomed out as, like, a Devil May Cry. And then enemies can dash hit you from off-screen. No so, God of War is more, like, Conal style. You're a little more rooted. There's some good lines in this, some good anime lines. That's no Max Payne 3. I've played Castlevania Lords of Shadow 1 and loved it. Absolutely adored it. One of the few bright spots again in this in the sad Gen 7 window of of, of bloating budgets and uh audience pandering. People didn't People didn't care for Lords of Shadow 2, like a like very much didn't care for it. And that kind of kind of scared me. Mercury Steam had vaulted to being one of my favorite devs and a lot of the reviews for um, Lords of Shadow 2 made it sound like they just they lost they lost their steam. But I should go back and try it, because boy did I love the first one so much. 
Also, much like Max Payne, Osiris cursed to just watch his wife get killed over and over and over again. Or daughter, I should say. Oh, Tokyo Jungle 2? I never played Tokyo Jungle. Or was that a, like, disaster report? Four. Wait, no, there's there's a game there's a Wii game that's sort of like that. Sort of like Disaster Report. I think Monolith made it. Oh, damn. <laughs> the emotion engine. He's trying to cry, but his eyes can't produce tears? Hmm. I didn't get that specifically. I, I mean, I believe you. I believe that that's the intent of the scene. It, to me, it just looked like processing. Like he was... He just couldn't believe it, ha it was happening again. But yeah, to, to even try to sell something like that without arms. I got a trophy. Canister Cop. Thank you for the sub. Hell yeah. Yes, Harry, that's the objective most of the time, is to fill the burst meter. The enemy doesn't have a health bar, you have a burst meter. So you fight until you get mad enough to kill the thing, basically. And yeah, a lot of the times, whatever combat scenario you're in... Let's just fill the, fill the meter as, a, as efficiently as possible. Which is actually, like, kind of solid game design. Because there's still room to express skill in there. If you get hit, you'll get staggered. If you do inefficient combos, you won't fill the meter as fast. So it is about finding, like, the little gaps in, in combos and stuff when you can sneak in more attacks or... or do something more efficiently. Oh, 
people really wanted like people's willingness to write this game off was a bit a bit tragic but again it's one of those things i can't necessarily be mad because i get it it's easy to write off it's easy to look at it and think that you understand everything i think something something like that happens too when it's when it's different people want to pigeonhole something really quickly and yes i'm about to talk about crime boss it is basically payday but it's like if people don't get something they look at it and they're like oh it's payday i mean it, something kind of similar is happening with pal world you it's not pokemon with guns although it has pokemon with guns but I think the, the, I did play it a little more last night, actually. And I get, I get its uniqueness now. Which is, like, I couldn't see those features either time I played the game. Because the first time I was so annoyed with tree punching and the cumbersome menus and the, the kind of bad intro and the janky UI. Um, and then I played it with other people who did all that stuff for me. So I didn't understand what was going on. Yeah, the early 2010s were pretty bad. I think from like, from 2005 to 2015, probably the darkest years. Also the era that PC was neglected the most. Once you have a base going. Yeah, uh, yes, it is nice. Cause then you can, you can form up more around just outfitting yourself and going out and playing the, the more Pokemon style, running around collecting pals. What the hook that made a lot of sense to me was you build a facility in your base and it says like this makes rocks and then above it is a little icon saying you need a miner or a mine type or whatever and then you go out into the field and then it connects when you see a, a pal that has that stat you're like shit you don't want it just to collect it you want it because it fulfills a job that you have waiting back in the base already. And uh, each one of those things, like it connects two wires. It's not only that was my objective and I just found it spontaneously in the world, but also this means I, there's some bullshit stuff I don't have to do anymore. So yeah. And also the, the fact that like the pals walk around and physically interact with things inside your base. That's a really important feature. And a, and a pretty... Um, another one that kind of actually makes the game something else. Something unique. So now I'm kind of curious, because I having having the experience that I had finally playing by myself, I I like it a lot more. There are some things that are still kind of annoying about it. Can you get DLC for RPA CS3 games? You can. It's just kind of a headache. You have to install the package and then you have to install a separate DRM file. And I did not have the easiest time. Ooh. Sweet salty snacks. I did not have a uh I did not have an easy time finding those links on on the bald internet. That's why Liam O'Brien was hospitalized. Yeah. Artist given it all. I, uh... Oh, he died again. I remember, uh... Ooh! I remember when I was watching, um... What is it? Excel Saga. And the voice, the voice actor changed halfway through. And I was like, what? And apparently the VO... The VO actor got told that she couldn't do that voice anymore by her doctor. Because she was like blasting out her vocal cords being that hyper talky shrill lady. So awesome. Rise and shine, Asura. I lost myself again. No, you haven't lost anything. You've gained the power to save the world. Save? Could not even save a little girl with this power. <laughs> See, if he'd done it like me, he wouldn't have shredded his vocal cords. Ah, wait! You have a destiny to fulfill! Oh, he's gonna scream again. Aww. The, 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 like, the goofy little things hidden out of frame are really cute. 
Oh, he's, he's, he's yelling again. He's still mad. Regret it to death. <laughs> he's so mad. I do have a high hope for the project's reanimation. Hmm. That I am the most enthusiastic fan of you all. Please remember. Oh, shit! Aw. There was probably more dialogue at the top. I've messed it up. We've lost... Overwhelming power surging through him. We've lost the secret words. Strong enough to rival the Brahmastra. In an instant, he gains the power that took the seven deities 12,000 years to accumulate. This could be what finally ends their tyranny over the humans and bring justice to the world. He just got that mad. That was from the CEO of CyberConnect 2? Oh, so much soul. Even Argus could not defeat you. Why? Why do you keep coming back? What is it that you are fighting for? And this power of yours? What are you fighting for? That's the power that took us 12,000 years to attain. It's love, baby. They should remaster this game, Omi Dart. There's nothing in it that's like copy written outside of whoever owns it. If it's Capcom? I mean, uh, I don't want to trivialize it, but the fact that it's running this well in an emulator. I know that you can't package up and resell open source stuff, so they'd have to like, I don't know. They'd have to either license it, which would be sick. Or, uh, well, I guess you can't license a PS3 BIOS. There's a way, I feel like. A port company could probably get this going in a year, maybe. That may be trivializing the amount of original work needed to resell it, but... Holy shit, though. But yeah! What? Well, <sighs> now that the PC is, like, actually a vibrant, uh, platform... Yeah, I know, the PSX Mini did that. Some of them do. I know Nintendo's been caught selling emulators sometimes. Um, yeah. I don't, like, Capcom could flip this or even farm it out as a port, just do quality control, and then sell it for like 20 bucks on Steam. The Brahmastra. Has she lost her mind? Olga. Oh, thank you. Thank you, local Adam. With that one blast, do you realize how much mantra will be lost? All the souls that have been given for the cause. Do you not realize that this will hinder the coming of the great rebirth? Then we will just get more mantra. With the mortals under our control, our supply is endless. If we do not I sure do love talking about video games. No great Wait. I don't know if journalism is what I do. Like uh, I, I don't know what I do is. If we finish him now, once and for all, he can never come back. I'm a video game lobbyist. But I don't lobby government. I lobby people. Yeah, content creator. That's kind of that's kind of the catch-all, isn't it? It is my life's mission to make sure that people appreciate amazing video games, and I think like a, a connected mission of that is appreciating the collective hard work that goes into creating them. It's one thing to be entertained by a game; it's another to just have the breath taken out of you by how divine it really is. Where are you going? It's, it's just the intersection of so much. Technical and artistic skills, hard and soft skills, logistics, scheduling, teamwork, budgeting, business. Yeah, I'm gonna play Infinite Well. Absolutely. 
Oh, shit. Forgot you got to play Zeb. Yeah, this Friday's gonna be a, a nice day for Tekken, Infinite Wealth. Dulcim arms. John Carter, welcome. Them. It's Wrath in Time. Actually, I don't know what mantra this dude is associated with. Wouldn't. Not. Stay out of this. Way, He's the most virtuous of them. Even God. Until 13th Gen is the Giga Chat of our PCS3. I got really lucky then. I upgraded not too long ago because I have a 13th Gen. Um. Yeah, I was. Speaking of gens, I was kind of impressed with how much or how efficient 14th gen is with X264 encoding. Anything you're really digging music wise? Hmm. I mentioned this yesterday. I'm just into dank dub electronic reggae shit these days. The danker, the better. That deep dub, Twinker Bell. Thanks for the sub. I must hurry. Oh. 1.5k away from my first VIP or ban. Any advice on how to survive my first ban? Nothing I tell you will help. I guess like a breakup, you just have to embrace that it is suffering. God, this fucking music. God, God bless. I almost said God bless, which also kind of fits, but God bless. God, God bless how much Japan loves a cowboy. Unless it's Sukiyaki Western Django, that movie was not very good. How long is the ban for? One hour. But it feels like three billion years. It hurts me to, to throw my beautiful viewers out in the cold like that, but I have to. I just, I simply have to. I don't know how far I am in this game, Screaming Sailor. A, few, a couple of more hours at least to go. I am playing on hard, so that tends to extend the runtime a bit. Oh, 
kind of hard to tell the perspective. Okay. Can VIPs get banned? I think so. Fall over. Oh, sheesh. Okay. Ooh, Jip has redeemed a real trading card. You got it. Ah, damn. Hold on. Wait till I hit a stopping point. So my synchronic rate doesn't suffer. That seems fine. All right. Good. And we get some music too. Perfectly balanced as all things ought to be. Okay, let's get a card going. What's this? Here it is. Here it is. I gotta dig down into the, the deep sack to make sure that I get true randomness. What do we got? Ooh! Street Fighter Alpha 2 Gen card. I wanted Gen to be cool, but he's like a he's like a mean guy. He's he's angry. Gen is a street fighting legend, even among the world warriors. He's a master of two martial arts styles, Kiryu and Soryu, and his opponents never know which one he'll use. Many fighters have tried to unseat the old master, but none has succeeded. I just wish he were nicer. Why does he have to be so mean about it? Congrats, congrats. Okay, records have been taken. Got some moves on the back there too. You're gonna impress all your friends busting out those moves. Don't tell them where you got them, because then they'll start watching the stream, they'll randomly draw Street Fighter cards, and then they'll get all the secret moves. Yeah, who needs viewers? Damn, man. My eyeballs don't uh don't know where to look. I keep looking at the cursor instead of the character for dodging the lasers. Luckily, they don't really ow. They don't Okay, that was me. They don't really hurt all that much. Uh, it is it is really difficult for me to visually parse this, especially when they're like shooting at you while it's curving around. Armored chore. Thanks for the sub. Yeah, Max Payne rules. Why didn't I jump? Okay, there's like a pretty hefty landing animation. Damn, man. It's such a floaty, like, 
Uh, you're just sitting there waiting to land. Once you've landed, you're sitting there waiting to jump again. They really, they really hurt you for jumping at the wrong time. I feel so celebrated and rewarded as a gamer. A sense of pride and accomplishment. What would be the female equivalent of Max Payne? I mean, Ruby from Wet, right? Remember Wet? Um, what's the name of the the girl from Bright Memory Infinite? Shelly from uh, Ion Fury. Oh yeah, Juliet from Lollipop Chainsaw. She doesn't really have like slow-mo gun diving noir Hong Kong shooty abilities. Hmm. A Dante and Bayonet equivalent? Pretty much, yeah. I'd say so. Seems like a mashing circle sort of situation. Uh, I think we'll get a situation with the Max Payne remakes where they'll, they'll use the old audio. That's going to be tough because just from a fidelity standpoint, it's hard to imagine that the original recordings of Max Payne 1 and 2 are going to sound okay in a modern remake. I don't know. I'm okay with them recasting Max Payne. Uh, it sucks, but that's life. It won't remove, um... It won't remove James McCaffrey's performance. He'll always be that Max Payne. But I think the character can, can withstand to be played by other people. And even look different. Have slightly different takes on the character. has diverted the beam. Damage report. Unable to fire. About our family man, Vin Diesel? I do too. He's got the gravel. He doesn't have the self-aware smarm. Vin Diesel doesn't have the ability to laugh at himself, which actually might make him the best Max Payne of all. If, like, if he goes into it 100% serious and straight, that would actually work, as long as the well, the directors would know. I think I think you could manipulate Vin Diesel into being an amazing Max Payne. Without hair. What if they gave him a wig, though? I'm too busy filming for Ar for uh, Arc Two, I suppose. Yeah, Josh Brolin. Yeah, I don't know. I there's so much talent in the world. Um, I think the first time. I I keep thinking back to like the Doom DLC, the Fallout with with uh, Mick Gordon, tragic, and I was like, man, this music is just not gonna gonna, gonna cut it. But it, I mean, it did. It's not BFG div division, but it's fucking good. Um, and that's just like 
I don't want to say just. I mean, they, they scouted around. They found some really good composers. So I don't know. There's, there's a lot of talent out there. And a lot of, I think, what we think is irreplaceable and divine, it's it's pretty good performances, you know? That's largely what we have in games. Again, I'm not trying to, like, say that James McCaffrey is replaceable or anything, but if you, if you want to reboot Max Payne, and if the goal is to see if there's future a future to the franchise, then I think part of it might be, like, setting, setting the character up... Uh, as something that can exist outside of just the remakes or, or making it not a huge throwback. Yeah. Carl Urban is actually the real choice. Carl Urban would be sick. Carl Urban's got it all. He really does. What a, Oh God. Cause then they could do like FMV. They could do full FMV or what I imagine for like a Max Payne remake. Right. I think ideal you get Carl Urban, you sign him in. It's his, it's his likeness in the game. And then the, the, uh, the comic book scenarios are like, Motion comics, but with photos, you know, um, man, that would be, that would be perfect pitch perfect with the Foley and the, like the, like sliding panels and everything. Oh man, they're going to do the, the nightmare sequences in the remakes. They're, they're going to be so toothless, I bet. You should apply to be a game director at Remedy. Dude, no chance. I've never directed a game in my life. If I had a resume of like 20 years of indie games with moderate team sizes, then maybe. But, uh... Nah, I just play a lot of video games. Somewhere on Gaia. Oh, we get to beat up Sergei? To maintain my beauty, a little exercise is necessary once in a while. Consider it an honor to be purified by someone with such grace. That's what I would say if any of you impure had any brains. Oh, I forgot to pan around. No, actually, I didn't grow up playing PC games, Yasha. As soon as I was aware of, of the PC scene, I wanted to get into it. But no, NES was kind of my my mainstay gaming NES and then Super Nintendo and then and then I like got a little bit older got a job and could start buying stuff but yeah once I I think I was once I was 15 and I was working enough part-time jobs I saved up money to buy a PC uh, this is the only chance for you filth to shine after dashing through the horde of Goma Sergei blow bows blows gracefully at the same moment the goma are ripped to shreds in the background at least you can die beautifully <laughs> it should show up at remedy hq in finland and go i've seen every single demo by future crew so i'm basically ceo qualified yeah they'd have to let me in i'm too respected maybe if i actually coded a demo if I got Max Payne 1 running on, like, an Amiga and showed up at Remedy, then they might let me in. Oh, thank you, Yasha. Yeah, the old Dude Soup days. Those were fun shows to put together. Kagebosh. During our attempt to fire the Brahmas Brahmastra upon Asura, Lord Yasha interfered and deflected the blast. How typical of him. I knew he would show his true colors one day. I can't wait to see that troubled look on his face. It's quite exquisite. Hey, Zazanizzle. Uh, yes, sir. Lord Deus has summoned you regarding the incident. Tell him I'll be right there. As soon as I finish this purification. A horde of Goma approaches the city. Sergei urges for purification. But Yasha decides to try and stop them on his own. Will he be able to save the city from the Goma and purification? Yeah, Robocop was pretty sick. That's that's kind of close to a Judge Dredd game, right?
Oh yeah, Harry, what's going on with the uh what's going on with your RMA? Is your video card still in limbo? My ROG ally is supposed to make its way back to me tomorrow. I hope there's not it's not just like snapped in half. We'll see. Prepare to purify the village immediately. Wipe it out. But the village is not under attack yet. That's quaint. But this is what we do. Oh no, Peak. Building a new PC, the GPU I bought was dead on arrival. That's the worst. <sighs> Cause you never know what it is, you know? Especially if a new PC doesn't even boot and video cards can be one of the reasons. Well, I guess video cards have onboard video now. Oh, Humph. What's this, what we got here? Perhaps you would like to exterminate them before they reach the village? Hmm? I had planned on What gap are we looking through there? I got pretty lucky with my recent build. Had some odd odd scenarios though, just like certain M2 drives not detecting anything, so luckily God gave motherboards more than one. Catch a lot of bugs doing that. And because of it, three fourths of the Karma Fortress's mantra have been consumed. That is everything I witnessed. I see. But... Yes? I... Why do you hesitate? Speak! All these years, I have believed in the cause. Oh, that's really sweet. How tough am I? You wrote to Rockstar and said you really wanted to work for them? That of the Brahmastra. Did you follow up on that? Or did, did life grind you down? We lost track of his whereabouts. We do not know when he might attack again. Lord Deus. <laughs> Lord Deus, I have a report to make. I use the Brahmastra on God, the fully intentional scoff as she walks past. You were dismissed. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Yasha tried to dismiss. Oh, brain blasted. Oh, gamers ground me down. I'm a software engineer, but not in the gaming industry. Never want to do that. That is wise. Yeah, I was in computer science because I wanted to make games until I became more practically aware of the games industry and how it operates. I mean, I think this year, 2023-24, very, very sad and telling year about how this industry can be very inhuman. If you're one of the like 10xers at a at a game company, you're like 
you're tenured, you're set for life. But if you're anyone else, you're disposable, underpaid, and overworked. And then your your adoring public shits on you the second it becomes it becomes politically viable. Yeah, sure. sir. God. Oh, without a purpose is meaningless and worthless. Imagine working for five years on an engine. And then a bunch of internet dweebs all rally against it because, like, one screenshot came out that made it look bad. And you got people sliding into your DMs telling you what a piece of shit you are. And how lazy you are. Then you understand what we must do. Well, that was quite entertaining. So dedicated to the cause. Yeah, even in, even in the like the mid aughts when I was graduating college, I saw the ways that people were talking to developers, and I was just like, uh uh. Yeah, something like Puddlegate. Or you work really hard on something that that like people go out of their way to misunderstand because it just makes for better clickbait. That's what I consider the greatest tragedy of all is when people in the media don't even don't even do the due diligence to play a game on their own or formulate their own opinions they just know that like a game is stinky this week so i'm gonna dunk on it create the illusion of solidarity of like Report. keeping with the times Large i'm not gonna mention cyberpunk i'm not i'm speaking generically now happened with ashra's wrath too requesting permission for immediate purification ah, a purification how beautiful Come along now, Yasha. <laughs> but yeah, I I fully understand developers when they're just like, you guys don't deserve my games. The Phil Fishes of the world. Please do something else with your life. I mean, per speaking selfishly, I would have liked to have played Fez too. But I wouldn't have made- I wouldn't have made Fez 2 for these assholes. <laughs> I think it's- I think- I think negativity probably exists in all circles. Gaming is just particularly online connected. I'm sure film and music has similar- or books even have similar sycophantic media types. Um, disingenuous fans. Oh my god! Ah! I'm gonna get used to... <sighs> okay, if the- yeah. I'm remembering now. If the camera- if the camera moves... You're not expected to dodge. But if you have control of the camera, then you do need to dodge. Shock they let me have that. Yeah, Game of Thrones. I mean, the show did get pretty bad. But also, yeah, once some, like, the worst thing that can happen to an ongoing work is that it gets popular while it's in the process of being made. That's the kiss of death. Because then suddenly there are expectations, there's stakes, there's business interests. One of the more interesting comments I remember, there was a, I was lucky enough to attend a, like a discussion between two film directors. Guillermo del Toro and Fede Alvarez. 
But one of the things Del Toro said was that, like, in his line of work, success is toxic. Either needing success or wanting success or having success. Like, success as a concept spoils art nearly immediately. And I thought a lot about that in terms of both games and then also the people who comment on games. The, the desire for success bends a lot of what they do. And in some, in a lot of cases, especially in media commentary, the desire to be successful is the entire product. It's, it's purely, I will say whatever I need to say in the way that I need to say it so that people watch me say it. So there's no message. It's just completely trying to hold a mirror to the internet more effectively than the next guy in line. And the numbers support it because people aren't that discerning uh, with the, the, the commentary they consume. I was thinking about that with shorts content too. People see it as a gateway to success, so shorts content wraps itself around the idea of success instead of expressing anything of unique value. <laughs> I don't know. The way that social media sorts and organizes itself, it has almost made it so that genuine expression cannot exist on those platforms. Yeah, narcissistic feedback loops. Yeah. Genuine expressions get buried because they don't, uh, they don't, they are not engineered to provoke engagement. <laughs> Got an evil shiver. Before the mortals are devoured by the Goma, we purify their souls and turn them into our power. This is nothing new. It's the same thing you've been doing for the past 12,000 years. Hmm. You just fought a meaningless battle. Read a fair amount of Xenogears interviews and done a fair amount of research there. The creator Tetsuya Takahashi genuinely wanted to spread a message as far as he could, regardless of the bottom line. Eventually he learned to introduce tits and asses in order, in order to sell what he really wants. Yeah. I will say that it's weird, in, in Japanese media it feels like that transaction is way more obvious. It's got a name, fan service, you know? It's commodified. It's almost acknowledged that certain things have to be in a show to sell it, whereas... I see this a lot in anime. The first three episodes are the most wretched, pandering, stereotypical thing. And then after that, the show changes and becomes something else. Sometimes the pander is fun. Uh, but then once, like, once you get into the second half of a season and it, the writing completely shifts. And you're like, oh, this is what the show was supposed to be or wanted to be. So expressive, man. Blah. I feel like Wii Punch Out was almost this level of squishy anime face. Also, hand animation. The games industry was so fascinated with performance capture and motion capture for so long. I feel like that's the thing that, um, that's the thing that works about Avowed is it's not all fucking performance capture. All the animations look like they're hand animated, so it gives it a very cartoony, squishy look. It's so good. Yeah, Keijo. Keijo is the ultimate because it's, it's a complete commodification. It's not even acknowledged in the context of the show that tits and ass are supposed to be sexy. They're weaponry. Uh, it's almost like showgirls. It's like an anime showgirls. I just like it when an anime lets me look at titties, but doesn't treat it like like I have to do it in the back of a store and like peek into some dude's coat to see a picture of the boobs. Be proud of your boobs. But I guess that that's also going against certain cultural mores in Japan. A proper gossamer Japanese woman is ashamed of her sex. Search troop captain's Upala's log. This mission to find traces of Osra's movements has proven very challenging. 
The blast from the Brahmastra has set the land ablaze, which still continues erasing any tracks Osra had left behind. Oh, there's there's a there's a Blanca. Hold on. There he is! Yay! I like how it matches perspective, but it's photo real, kind of. Like they took a photo of a toy and stuck it in there. <sighs> yeah, I should watch Kill a Kill again. Um, I didn't read any. I mean, I should give Studio Trigger a little more credit. They also, you know, have their mandatory fan servicey characters. But I feel like Kill a Kill was more aware of its creepy sexualizing of its 14 year old protagonist than I gave it credit for. But man, my tolerance for that has just gone way, way down. The first time the suit, like I, I kind of get it now. I get the, I get the imagery, but when she gets the suit on and it's like playful sexual assault, I'm like, fuck me, stop it. This is a problem. But I get the joking about it is kind of the joke. But it was just like, mm. once that shiver runs up my spine these days, I just close the tab and move on with my life. Oh, Kill a Kill's protagonist is 18? That's nice, I guess. I thought it was one of the... I thought it was another situation. Yeah, I didn't think she was 18. But maybe she is 18. I mean, that's whatever. I'm not necessarily hung up on that, honestly. It's really just the way the character is represented, and she's very obviously a young teen girl in the show. So, yeah. Hey, that's okay. Anime. Anyway, we carried on with our mission in search of whatever we could find. Fortunately, we were able to find footprints on a snowfield quite far from Ground Zero. We followed them immediately. After a while, in the distance, we discovered one of our fleets in mid-battle with the Impure. That is when it appeared. Oh, she's 17 according to the wiki. Alright. A scorched black soot-covered body with the rage glowing in its eyes. By the time we realized it was the Fallen One, the battle had already begun. Watching from afar, neither of our fellow soldiers nor the Goma were any match for him. Terrified by what was happening, before our eyes we could do nothing but hide and shiver with fear. After the Fallen One had annihilated them all, he roared out towards the heavens as if he were calling out to someone. You see the indie scene is seeing a resurgence. I think it has been since like 2018, yeah. We've definitely been in an indie renaissance. An outrageous number of decently made games have, have flowed through, especially in digital, digital stores like Steam. After that, I continue to pursue, pursue Asura. Oh, uh, yeah, a lot of the, so, Jason, if you're talking about the last couple of years, so the, unfortunately, the way the dominoes fell was quarantine happened. There was a surge of, of money and activity in gaming uh, because everyone was staying home. That led to a surge of investing, which led to a lot of, a lot of veteran devs securing financing for their independent studios and I'm sure with the calcification of AAA gaming like circling wagons around brands properties and, and all that sort of thing yeah you probably have devs that have 15 20 years of experience and want to do something unique like Immortals of Avium so they get they get their green light uh, they get a check and they get to go make their their dream game or at least something that's not Call of Duty 25 um, so yeah now, now it's 23, 24, and the bills are starting to come due. So not all those games are going to sell. And a lot of studios are going to close this year. Uh, the big tech companies are ahead of the game, I think, in laying everyone off. Uh, when I say ahead of the game, I mean probably like reading that the free money dried up be be before the independent studios are really monitoring those trends. Anyway. Asura ran onward and encountered more Shinkoku soldiers in Goma, which he ripped to shreds in an instant. Interestingly enough, he had no eyes for civilian demigods or humans and left them alone. At the moment, Asura is headed towards the area where Lord Sergei and Lord Yasha are conducting a purification. What is he? What is he trying to do? The sound of his ferocious cry still rings in my ears. I must know what it all means. 
Lost in rage, Asura rips Sergei in two. His anger is so terrible that it scalds his own body. Having lost all sense and reason, Asura turns to Yasha with fire in his eyes. Okay, I'm gonna use the restroom real quick. Thanks again, uh, specifically Captain Sverga, but also everyone in general for the support and getting the DLC working. I appreciate it. Team Lift. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I brought snacks. Ugh. Bread. With a little jam and butter. Watch FLCL instead. Tells the same story with the same moving into adulthood themes and is a better show. Really? I mean, I like the moving into adulthood themes. The terror of like adult sexuality. Um. Ooh. Oh, he didn't know. I don't know, though, the plot stuff at the end of FLCL got kind of off the rails, but that's usually what anime does. I killed your precious sister. <laughs> oh, how boring. I thought you would show me a more beautiful face than me. Over your own sister. Bravo! You deserve a treat, loyal dog of Deus. The death of your family. <laughs> nice. I have seen Beck. Well, part of it. I don't think I've seen the whole thing. But yeah, I liked it. Very melancholy. When you live among the stars. But I guess a uh, slice of life tends to be that way. Damn it. to release that much mantra <laughs> I haven't seen the um the the second FLCL which given how the first is about like growing up or the 
the discomfort with transitioning into adulthood. I always want to see the, like, I would love to see a revisit to those concepts. But not about now to, strip, like, making, trying to enter being a pubescent, mm, a pubescent boy. But more about being like a, you know, a, a worker in his mid-30s? Midlife crisis kind of stuff, I guess? Fight club kind of shit. Trying to figure out how to exist and be a person in the world. Yeah, most people didn't didn't seem to rave about new FLCL. It's hard to tell what's going on. watched a video about how the Japanese animation industry is near slave labor. Yeah. Yep. That was tough for a while. I'm lucky I didn't get into anime culture because the culture of like proudly stealing anime. Meanwhile, people in Japan are making no money. Pretty gross. Especially for like a, a form you theoretically enjoy and want to perpetuate. Jesus Christ. How did you obtain it? To be able to release that money. FLCL Season 2 slash Progressive is about existential nihilism. That sounds about right. For somebody being in their 30s. I, I'm assuming, like, far too much. Especially given people have told me that it's not really that interesting, but... It might speak to me. What the- where's the prompt, man? I don't understand. Like, the first time he did that attack, the first two times there was a triangle prompt to counter that. And now I'm just getting hit by it. Immortals is a PS3 COD with magic and a modern skin. Yeah, that's awesome. That's fucking awesome. Again, I don't understand why people like, like Asher's Wrath. It's just an interactive movie. People love pigeonholing stuff and discounting things. I don't understand. Well, I guess I understand why. Ah. I swear there were things I was countering before that it won't let me counter now. Okay, you can't jump. I think I was doing stuff. You can't counter if you're doing stuff. Hitting buttons. Oh 
What? Holy fuck. That, that like, that claw has hit frames that last so long. I didn't get a triangle prompt again. I don't fucking get it. Yeah, I can't- I can't do the dash attack after that. Or I don't get to punish. I have to do the normal one. I guess the dash attack takes too long? Baffling. Alright. God damn it! What? No prompt again. Can you not be moving? was in the air. Yeah, I guess you just have to be hand off the controller. A lesson I thought I learned already. Oh shit. It, it's identical to when he jumps above you, but the camera doesn't change. God damn it! He only did one! Okay. Yay. Also have some Sigus. Some delayed for Sigus. Ah! So wait, what's the? I'm gonna, I have to fall into this trap. What's the Grimes recipe for butter toast? I forgot. Should I just Google it? Still the same Asura. Does Grimes have uh, her own? Do not listen to anyone. <laughs> her own custom dish. She just pan fries bread and butter and thinks she's discovered something? Oh, okay. Well, good for her. There's a... Uh, almost got it. There's a point where, like, everybody discovers the basics on their own. If they didn't grow up in a household with them, you know? What the... Where's the prop, bro? Where's the prop, bro? Dear shit. 
Okay, I guess it's just if the camera changes. It has nothing to do with the attack. But if it goes into cinematic camera, you'll be able to prompt. Like now. I'm just, yeah, I keep forgetting the game's, ah, shit. I keep forgetting the game's language. And honestly, it's kind of hard to task switch. Oh, he does multiple. Fuck off, dude. The thing of them having, like, hurt frames when you're waking up is mean. Can I hit him now? Oh, okay, he falls. All right. Hey, what's up, black girls? Love black girls. chat. Oh boy. God, you get off time a little bit. Do something. I guess you have to iframe that one. That's- it's like a little bit delayed though, that's so mean. That's a very small window to, to visually react. But I guess that's what you gotta do. No! Ah, oh, that time stopped when you were doing that. Fuck. Dodging, bro! Fuck! Hmm. It's such a fake out to open with that. God, and then never do it again! Ugh! There's like just the tiniest pause if he's gonna jump down on top of you like that. And since it doesn't do the prompt, you have to iframe through it, which means if you, ah! If you dodge early, if you dodge with the timing that you have to dodge with to dodge a second dash, you'll get hit. Ah! DJ Kento, thanks for gifting a sub. Cool pose.
Oh, it's that one. So there's three after the dash. Dude, it's so it's. So hard to see the protagonist through all the screen shake. God damn! The fact that it's never the same prompt. Fuck you! I think there's time to do two. There might be time to do another quick one. Can you not activate L2 in the air? I guess not. I mean, I played Devil May Cry 4. Dude! <laughs> you just, it's so fast. You just have to guess. God! Interactive movie, though, right? Just a QTE game. Ah! Okay, did the thing again. Hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm getting there. God! My, my finger was on the button! I couldn't hit it in time. I think that might be a 60 FPS thing. Okay, yeah, you can dodge twice. It's not quite as devious as I thought. Oh, I got a stun. That should be it. See how f it's so fast when you actually hit all the dodges you need to, though. The world. But they make you honest to get there. Playing this and be like, man, why isn't a Dragon Ball Z game this this sick? Did Kakarot get there? Does Kakarot have Dragon Ball fights that are this awesome? No, fuck. I mean, I, I'm down with it being like an open world kind of action RPG. That's enough, but. Just now, I felt so 
Yeah, Harry, there was something about 60 FPS making some of the timing windows really short. Like, I'm playing on hard, and it feels hard. It feels like I'm I'm just a teeny bit short of hitting that reaction time. But even still, that reaction time seems inordinately short. For a game, you know, 2011 that's not from From Software. Or Platinum Games, really. I should dispose of it. Prompts like that are so trolly that that's more of a... That's a Hideki Kamiya special. To me. Do not let him die. You will not listen to reason, and listen to my fists. <laughs> Huh. Wrath blasted. Wait. Wait for my return. Hey, what's up, Cauliflower? for now. I am Yasha of the Seven Deities. No more. God. Of course he has a cool space hog to ride around on. Yeah, Destiny Bike. Turns out every game ripped off Ashra's Wrath. Every last one. Isn't that weird? Just like 10 years from now, we'll discover that every game ripped off Immortals of Avium. Man, zero battle points. I guess if you have to retry. Yeah, Bayo 1 is... yeah. I don't mind it because most of Bayo 1 is, is trolly on purpose. Like, it's fucking with you, the player. And I think it does a pretty good job of of conveying that, but also players don't like to be fucked with. I like it, because I've played enough of those games that, like, doing a QTE right out of a cutscene that, that, like, blitzes you. It's It reminds me a lot of the RE4 um, QTE prompts that were also quite cheeky, and they took it to another level, I think. But yeah. Good old, good old Bayonetta 1. Is there any game from the first time you played it you saw it as a future cult classic game? Yeah, I knew there was I knew there was some heat around Undertale. Um Cult Classic. Spec Ops the Line. Cause nobody cared about it at the time, and I I was like, yeah, people are gonna talk about this for a while. I guess Hotline Miami, maybe. But that's kind of more of a more of an out and out classic. Yeah, Shenmue. I mean, I was not. Yeah, if I were thinking in that le on that level at that time, but I certainly wasn't. I was instead thinking, man, Shenmue's great. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, it's 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 tough. Uh, I feel like Crime Boss Rock Hay City will have a group of people that love it like I do, but it'll never be popular. Glover, yeah. Um, I mean, like Res. Uh, Child of Eden, the the Tetsuya Mizuguchi games always felt like cult classics, even when they came out. Thousands of years ago, Yasha, have you decided? Ugh. Why are you so hesitant? It is the only way we can save this accursed planet. But to kill a few to save the many... I do not feel that would be just. This has nothing to do with justice. It is our cause. If it means saving our way of life, I will gladly accept becoming a demon. 
Oh wait, no, Deus is saying that. If that's what it takes to attain an eternity of peace and prosperity for our people. Yeah, a new wipeout would be great. Red out two is, is, I guess, kind of a new F zero. Who's that up there? Who is that? Oh, that's the Dylan. I can't remember his name. Starts with an S. Just got cut in half. A village with no name. Not Sargon. That's in Prince of Persia. Great guardian, why do the Goma exist? Why do they come and take everything from us? Mm. My lord, my son's death was not in vain, was it? No, it was not. We would have been powerless without his prayers. I see. Thank goodness, son, your death was not in vain. But I wish you could have lived to see a world of peace. Let us meet again one day when you are reborn in a different life. Good, we get to go back to the throne room. Gotta look up. Gotta look around. For those goodies. Huh? Somebody's creeping. I like it. Those are such fun little details. Again, interactivity. There's a shocking amount of interactivity in this supposed movie game. Oh, Indigo Prophecy? Yes. I remember when I got to the Cyber Ants, I was like, what the fuck? I mean, even I played the demo for Omicron, and again, wasn't really thinking in terms of cult classics at the time. Because to me, like, every game on the PC was a cult classic. I guess there's a lot of those, uh, the high-budget PC games that very few people played. Wing Commander Prophecy, um, Blade Runner, like, Deus Ex kind of broke out as a property. Uh, Heavy Metal Fact 2. I'm trying to think of the Giant Citizen Kabuto. There were a lot of just, like, weird-ass late 90s PC games right before the everyone abandoned the platform. Well, I have seen so much pain and suffering of our people throughout this eternal war. If you say we can stop this, then I am at your command. I too shall become a demon. You have made the right choice. I am confident you will make me very proud. From this day forth, I shall live only for the cause. Yeah, Kingpin Life of Crime. I didn't think anyone remembered that game. I do want to play Kingpin Life of Crime on stream. That would be a fun that'll be a fun time. Tron 2.0. Game I bring up fairly frequently. Wait, DLC missed. Huh? Do I have to go back to the episode list? Hold on. I think it leaves the DLC for you to manually select from the mission list because when I played the 11.5, it took me back out to the main menu instead of, yeah, instead of uh, continuing on. Do the games where the sequels are way more popular live in this, like Fallout 1 and 2? I suppose, I guess you could say New Vegas from that perspective, it's a cult classic, probably the ultimate cult classic. That's the cult classic that people who don't care about cult classics have heard about. As opposed to something like Deadly Premonition, where you still have to be a few layers deep to even be aware of it. Yeah, Tron, Tron 2.0 is on Steam. I think it still still needs some massaging to get like running widescreen. And there's some UI tweaks you definitely need. Uh, but yeah, Tron 2.0, Flipping Rules. I remember playing through it on stream a, a million years ago. Yeah, El Shaddai. A game that got a re-release. A game that I thought everyone forgot about. El Shaddai is... is cool. Ah, uh, sheesh. Now I'm thinking. Now I'm thinking. There's probably a lot of, of like, online social chat room things. That that could be qualified as that things that people spend a lot of time in in the '90s and the aughts. Not maybe not necessarily games. Yeah, the darkness. Yeah, Star Breeze's early works. Uh, the darkness, Riddick. Maybe I should cut Indiana Jones some slack because if you look at a trailer for the Riddick game, nothing about what's cool about that game is present in the trailers. So I just have to hope. I just really have to pray that there's more going on to Indiana Jones than hallways filled with Nazis that you 
you like scorpion grab and punch to death, which is still cool, don't get me wrong. But you don't need machine games to make that game, so hopefully there's more cooking. In search of answers, Yasha makes his way to Deus' residence. What is the righteous path? Once they both believed in the same cause, but here their paths split and their differences collide. Yeah, I, I, f I fizzled out of Fallout 4 real early. I just had no buy-in to the story, so... Going through, the, and like the dialogue wasn't good, the characters were boring. I'm so glad with Starfield, people finally realized that Bethesda writing is not good. My business is with Deus. I must speak. Whatever for? I speak to a very prominent games media fellow in the lead up to Starfield, and we were comparing notes, and I was like, "Man, Starfield's not good." And this person was like, "But what about the quests and the writing?" And I was just like, "When's the last time you remember Bethesda games having good writing?" People just accept these things and don't question them, man. In that case, you are Lord Deus's enemy. Yasha is hereby guilty of treason. Purify him! Awesome. I know a lot of people are mad at, at Emil right now. It didn't surprise me that he admitted to being a, a former games media writer. And I don't know. Even his Twitter thread where he was trying to get people to be civil to Bethesda developers was not well written. Could be the right path. It was like stumbly, meandering, used self-important verbiage. Those who question the call. It was written like a games journalist article from the aughts. Let him through. Lord Deus. But he Do as I say. Uh, as you wish, my lord. <laughs> Walk. What's your point exactly? Sheesh, such a challenging question. Baron, you have a ve you have a very aggressive way of communicating. Something I've noticed. You may speak. Um what is this about? The Goma My point is that they are our gamers took a long time to develop taste. But of civilization and still have a long way to go. As such, we and the Goma have been destined to fight each other. But there's signs of movement. Eternity. Signs of civilization but creeping you in. Refuse to accept that fate. It was your ambition to break the never-ending cycle of war. Yeah, I know. I don't. Return I don't think it's your intention. Hands. It's hard to tell through text sometimes. Yeah. Shenmue 3 not selling was all the... All the evidence we needed. Oh. Yes. Any games in the last few years you think didn't get a fair chance? Uh, if it were before 2023, I would have said Cyberpunk, but that's kind of obvious. Um, beyond that, it's hard to say. There's been so many that I, I can't claim to have, like... There's a ton that I want to play and haven't been able to spend the time with I want. Um. Purpose without power is meaningless. We must succeed. No matter what the sacrifice. We must obtain power. It's tough. Greater than the will. Yes, yeah, Spider-Man didn't win an award. I'm not saying it didn't deserve to, but th there were other games that did everything it did better. The reason I have endured the billion. No, it's been tough in the last couple of years. It's not so much games going unappreciated as 
people just chattering about the same big budget over marketed games when there's so much more interesting stuff going on but that's going to be the case forever now right in a way to avoid slaughtering so many innocent humans i think like there are hundreds if not thousands of games in the last four years that have gone unappreciated just because Games have been overproduced for a long time now. Did you think that I had not considered other possibilities? Yeah, things come and go so quickly. That was one thing I wanted to bring up in the games in the games cast. Words without is that Pal World had the luck to come out during a dead season, which is to say three three straight weeks that doesn't have a triple A release. But that's about to end. And show me this. So, I wonder if it's just like, is that how high buying intent is for games? Gladly. That if there's just two weeks without something that everyone agrees to buy, that people find something and elevate it, and it becomes the new hot thing, because there has to be a hot thing every week? We got so used to it. N I, I'm not complaining, by the way. This is so much more preferable to having, like, three good games a year. But I think it's just like, people are used to buying... $30 games every other week, maybe. Or there's a group of them that always always looking for that new thing. Yeah, Helldivers 2 looks sick. I'm excited for that. All right, Tekken 8, uh, Infinite Wealth. Oh, fuck yeah, Talos Principle? Man. A Crow Team playthrough plus Sam 2? Not a bad idea. A serious Sam playthrough would be awfully meditative. I have a stack of boomer shooters I want to play through, though. New ones. Well, air quotes new. You know how it is. I gotta play through the Ion Fury franchise. Sprawl. I want to play through Machine Games Quake 2 map pack. I want to play through Sigil 1 and 2. I gotta play through MyHouse.Wad. It's got fucking nunchucks! It's actually really, really cool that this DLC plays at the proper frame rate, but all the overlays still render at 60. Most in-engine video renderers and decoders were not that smart at the time. Sam, you don't like this idea for DLC? What if this costs five bucks? Isn't seeing an awesome anime beatdown and like playing a little bit of a game enough for five dollars? I don't, I don't remember how much this DLC costs, but it wasn't that much. There's other DLC that is more traditional, like video game levels too. It's definitely not cheaply animated either. Not anymore. You can look this up on YouTube for free. You can do that with any game. It's okay, you don't have to buy it. There's a reason that it's not made anymore, so you don't have to worry about it. This DLC costs two dollars. Two dollars. Still an insult? 
I don't get... Sorry, uh, Sam. I'm, I'm not pinning this directly on you. Um, just in general, there's this, there's this tendency to be insulted just because something is on sale. That's the part of, of Western consumer culture that I could do with going away. Two dollars okay, but it's still kind of dumb. This is the power that can save so is horse armor. Hmm. Not so hot, though. I get, I get how somebody could think this is dumb. I don't think that's an unreasonable reaction. Oh! Complete facial obliteration. I will show you the true meaning of power. Wow. Oh. oh yeah, season three of Diablo started. And it's double XP and exoprimal. I got I want to level up my suits to ten so I can get one of the few remaining achievements in that game. Man, some of the savage encounters they added to Exoprimal are awesome. Exoprimal. There's a game that's that's gone under underrated, under acknowledged. And it's specifically the kind of game that no one gives a shit about. But I enjoy it. I think it's great. Have you ever seen Chinese anime? Well, I mean, I've, I've played Genshin Impact. I've played Honkai Star Rail. Oh, the making of Karateka? I heard that was a really, really incredible package. I want to dabble in that. A lot to learn from. Oh yeah, EDF6 is coming out soon. Was the game that short? No, no, no. This is just the deal. This is the credits for the DLC episode we just played. Can I get you to look up five elements of Fog Hill? What is it? Let's see here. Our Fog of Five Elements? Fog Hill of Five Elements. Wushan Wuxing. All right. This looks cool. Ooh, it looks colorful. I like the pastels. What kind of watercolor? I remember Sphere Hunter's opinion was Exoprima was okay, but it sucks Capcom didn't spend this time and money on something people would actually care about. Who give? Who did? Who decided Sphere Hunter gets to decide what people care about? God, I hate that shit. They should have made a brand. Is what that is what that fucking distills into. Why didn't they call it Dino Crisis? Uh. Sorry, I don't know who Sphere Hunter is, but that that is not a good opinion. Also, it does something new. God. I don't know this. I don't care about this. If I don't care, what's the point? I don't care about Exo Primal and I'm never gonna play it. Fuck life service games. It's a multiplayer game. I mean, it has a battle pass, but you don't have to care. Damn. A lot of opinions about games that people never play. I'm playing it on Game Pass. I bought the first Battle Pass because I liked it so much. And I haven't spent a dime in it apart from that. Uh, 
Oh shoot, I'm missing the dialogue. I'm too strong to be a guardian. Oh, this is August. This is a flashback? I don't want to be in the same ranks as weaklings. Then I will have to use force. You will join me. <laughs> Let's see what you got. A beautiful battle. This is when they met. You're the first I've ever drawn my wailing dark against. To take a direct hit from my Sakra and not die. It is imperative that you join the eight guardian generals. Not a manly screaming going on. Oh darn it, I didn't scroll around again. I'm a bad, I'm a bad art scroller. Nothing? Nothing? Okay. As long as battles are like this, I accept your offer. There will be battles aplenty that await you. Our cause involves purify. Goma Vrita. Litra. Maybe I'm out of touch. We'll see if they shut it down next year like often happens. It's a multiplayer game. It's a multiplayer game. When? I don't know. People, people treat... The way people talk about games now, it's like it's you're only allowed to consider it a success if it's the most popular game and it lasts forever. Fortnite is the only successful video game. The only one. Do you remember what multiplayer games used to be? Does anyone remember? Before Modern Warfare added leveling? Remember when you would like, start a game and go into multiplayer, and then play a match with people online, and you'd have you'd play a game, right? You'd play the game you'd try to win, and then the game would be over. And then you'd put your controller down and be like, ah, I had fun. And that was the point. It wasn't like, I have invested into my account, which will last forever. Yeah, taking off the market are two different things, that's true. Uh, I don't know, like, I guess Capcom hasn't launched a uh, online service game for a while. Well, Monster Hunter's still up. Can you still play Lost Planet? If you can still play Lost Planet, then odds are pretty good that you'll be able to play Exoprimal for a while. But also that doesn't matter either. You can also just play Exoprimal now and have fun with it and then move on with your life. Okay, not on Steam? Mmm. <laughs> but that was like a decade ago. Huh. Wrestling discourse is very similar to video game talk when it comes to being absurdly reductive. Really? Hmm. Flying Grayson! Oh. E. Thanks for the sub. It's been a stressful launch week and it's really nice to always be able to come to your streams and just chill out with video games again. Yes. That's what this, that's what it's all about. Cracking open a cold video game and hanging out. Sorry if I'm getting defensive. Uh it just just for the reasons previously stated. It it kind of bugs me when people readily accept any people seem anxious to write things off. It's like there's a new thing, it's different. Instead of playing it, or just watching a stream and coming to, to like terms with it, people take their, absorb their takes from media folks or... I regret the time I put into Rainbow Six Siege. I could, yeah, I could, I would regret that too, to be honest. If I took it super seriously, which, here's the thing, like a lot of online service games in, like want you to do that. They want you to buy in. They want you to get lost in all the unlocks and, and the profiles and the accounts and the ranks and getting a gold badge and it's all so approachable and interesting and it's all a lie. Play it until it's fun and then walk away. And don't give them money. Don't give them money for something you don't get, which is battle passes. Jesus Christ. Or the freaking the Starfield DLC. Just like, yeah, don't buy things that don't exist. Spend money on what's right in front of you. 
And that's it. It can be that simple. That also makes it like it opens up a world of free-to-play games that want so badly to entertain you. And they want to hook you, but you're smarter than that. So you just absorb all their free content and then walk away. It's great. Anyway, back to the video game. Having regained consciousness, Asura heads to confront Deus. However, he finds Yasha in the midst of a heated battle. The two join forces to take on the leader of the seven deities. The three face off to determine the fate of Gaia. Yeah, they tricked people into buying it in order to play it before day one. Well, they added DLC to distract people from the fact that they were charging them $90 to play Starfield on day one. Bleh. Yeah, the finals is pretty cool. I like the finals a lot. It's The finals is much more of a pure online shooter in that it it's, it's focused around the mechanics, it's focused around the plays, it's focused around player action. It is a game, and the goal is to win. And that's where all the excitement is. It's not seeing a big old bar pop up and crawl forward at the end of the match. All right, play. Video games. Durga. Mithra. How many times must I repeat? You have to keep saying that because gamers refuse to learn. Well, I think the thing is... Uh... The mass market isn't listening and don't doesn't care. We, the seven deities, have finally brought stability and, and order to our world. I just want there to be some unity in like how people talk about games, but maybe that's that's too much. Oh, Harry, I agree. I love the long TTK in the finals. Fights should be more about like I feel like fights in COD are kind of like poker. Like occasionally you can bluff your way out of a bad situation with skill. But the longer a fight goes, the more likely it is the skilled player will win. And your life, Asura. Your death shall be the foundation of my It's also just more time to observe. More opportunity to... to do something different. like long time to kill like Halo or short time to kill like Counter-Strike? I like long time to kill, but with the controls of Counter-Strike. Halo's long TTK is based entirely around the fact that people couldn't aim with controllers back in the day. It's just like one step above Goldeneye. To me, Quake. Quake is the perfect intersection of movement, speed, aiming, time to kill. But that's also because... Quake was like the formative shooter that I played. But I guess Quake Champions nowadays. Yes! You take any more lives. There might be a few more. Yeah, Apex. I did appreciate Apex's long time to kill. Um, I would have liked Apex a lot more if it just didn't have that 20 minute battle royale phase at the beginning of a match where you're running around and looting. I don't understand or care for that phase at all. What? Oh, he's dead. People just like to level, though. That's it. It's such a clumsy way to add leveling into that flow. 
Which, all, which seems like it's entirely downstream from fucking MOBAs. Another game that has an, a needless leveling phase on top of a competitive game. I must have gotten pushed away from the prompt. Just a little slap. We slap. You mean leveling phase in MOBAs? Just like any of the first 15 minutes when you're just like laning and testing the enemy team and looking for picks and shit. I mean, I guess team fights can happen there, but team fights only happen in that phase because of an error. Like somebody has to fuck up. Which I guess is part of the game. But the way the game's designed, it's not really meant to. Or people don't do it that way. And even if even if you do a team fight there, really all you're doing is just like starting a snowball. You're not actually like getting closer to finishing the match. Okay, so sometimes there are just prompts. Yeah, I'm talking about League or any any other MOBA that I played, Smite. There's always there's always a crowd pleasing phase at the beginning where you're allowed to just like kill random things and level up a little bit. It's- it's the sugar. The fucking sugar part of the game. Cause people love leveling. It's basically like the- it's the survival sim. The meters that slowly creep up- God! Okay, well, I guess I caught it. Barely. I don't know shit about Dota. To me, Dota's problem is that it solves complexity with more complexity. Like, instead of instead of eliminating needless game states, it invented 15,000 more game states as an, as, a, as an alternative. Which is... it's one method of game design. It means you'll never get bored, I guess. Or there's always opportunity for a spontaneous way to play. I guessed.
Oh, these takes aren't excessively hot, are they? I guess if, honestly though, if you strip out everything I'm talking about, you're just left with a fighting game. So you can just play fighting games. God, could you imagine if somebody added like a fucking creeping or leveling face to a fucking fighting game? You'd be like, wow, this is pointless and stupid. And you'd be right. I guess that they're trying to do that with MK though, with like, or they tried. Not necessarily a phase in the match, but more like the metagame of, of gear and inventories and leveling items and shit. Oh yeah, Dissidia? <laughs> I guess there was Dissidia. Oh, that's true. Yeah, you're right. There are some characters that sort of level up over the course of the match. Or have elevated states. The more that they do something like characters that taunt and get power buffs and stuff. That's, yeah, that's kind of, that's a, that's a form of that. Why can't I, why can't I burst yet? I'm about ready to burst. Yeah, Ace Attorney in Marvel vs. Combat 3. Yeah, they're, they're, you're right. Yep, there, there are some very, very diet level up aspects. Somewhere in there. Yasha! Move! What are you doing? It does not involve you. What? This is no time to argue. Two children who think they're gods. God, his outfit is so slick. So smug. Where is Mithra? <laughs> Qua? Was he saving me by kicking me in the face? Tell him. I don't care about that. I don't know how to save the world. What I do is, if I save Mithra, this hell will finally end! <coughs> Asura. Hmm. Save the world by turning the souls of humans into mantra. Oops. Yeah. <laughs> 
Jesus. Do I have to wait? Far, huh? What? Whoa. Yeah, I got nothing personnel for sure. <laughs> That's bound to happen, right? Comes the nothing personnel. Maybe. One of these days. Have to get closer. Luck burn? Oh, I'm doing great. Oh man, bitrate's even getting even getting killed on on uh, YouTube, huh? This is actually a pretty good bitrate test now that I think about it. Hopefully, it's not dropping any frames. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited for 7 Rebirth. I didn't expect to be. But they did such a good job with the remake. The trailer looks good. This planet considers the awesome. Enemy and is trying to devour all their souls. This planet denies our very birthright. That's such a good running gag in the game. What's your opinion on remake or remixes like Evangelion 7, Scott Pilgrim? Um, it's a bit sad. Like, it's to me, it's just a, it's a symptom of media overproduction. The only things you can get people to pay attention to are a brand they remember. To some degree, I think people like the vouching of an established brand as to the quality or investment behind something. Which is getting a little scary. I feel like it's getting only to the point where people only care about brands. But it is what it is. You must attain Trends are what they are. That have gone. Behold, this is that very power. I just, uh... I think it's easy to get lulled into a life of only consuming pop media and thinking that's all there is to it. And I don't just mean in terms of media consumption or media diet, I mean, I mean in terms of life. Yeah, new IPs are few and far between. Well, there's tons if you look at the indie layer. So there's still originality to be had. 
It's just, uh... You'd like to think that there could be a window in games where new ideas get big budgets and are executed on well. There was a window like that in gaming where no one knew what the hell was going on. So the most ambitious pitches would also get the biggest budgets. And it is me. Yeah, Captain, I agree. I think it's funny. It's funny people were talking about doing the thing you have to do before you get to th before you get to do the thing you want to do with the Xenu Gears and, and anime in general. I felt like that was the case with Seven Remake. Seven Remake Part One was delivering all the fan favorite notes, the music, the setting. And I thought by the end of it, Seven Remake did a pretty good job massaging the audience into accepting new storylines or diverging storylines. Yeah, Resident Evil is also like the remakes may as well be new games in the style of old games, but it's got new mechanics, it's got new play styles. So there's there's ways to do remakes in a profound way. And I, I don't think it hurts as well that Resident Evil itself was also very derivative of, of you know, Western horror. So it it's it's kind of all in a chain of inspiration when it's at its best. Yeah, we got a World Ends With You sequel and it was quite good. World Ends With You Neo was was really fun. So there's a lot of there's a lot of bright sides to to remake and, and rehash culture, re-release culture. Because I think I think smart smart and artistic creators still find a lot of space to express themselves in that. And yeah, they still made Village, which is its own thing. They still made Exo Primal, which is not a not a series. They're making Pragmata, which I'm still excited about. God, it's so sick, dude. <laughs> standing there like he's Sonic. I like too that the 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 QTEs never lose track of what they're actually tied to, which is Osura beating shit up. Even when Osura is not on camera, you hit a button press, and it's because Osura is hitting something off camera, right? It it drives me mad when the framing device for QTEs shifts around. It's not just a button press to what's on screen; it's a button press to what your character is doing. No more heroes was pretty good about that. It's a it's a timing thing too. The button press is when the character does a thing. And you can do a lot of camera movements based on the action of that, but that's the hitting point. That's what matters. Ah, uh, yeah, wonderful 101. That was the first Platinum Games game that I didn't finish. Because I remember spending an hour trying to draw a fucking circle or whatever and it just didn't work. But the remaster I played a little bit of. It was super fun. Gotta love a... Gotta love a Platinum Games QTE. Yeah, this is really similar to the... The, like... Space Harrier level in Bayonetta.
thousand years for a gigantic toy! Gonna give me the galactic clap. What? It's not like it was moving fast. Sots. Hold on, there's something really important I need to I need to watch. that clip hold on hold on this is important uh, hold on hold on a minute just hold on just keep holding on for a minute just keep holding on just keep doing it here we go what what's going on here So sick. Anyway, I just I was thinking about this a lot. Oh man. <laughs> oh, right before <laughs> right before the break, too. Did they make it through the galactic slap? The cosmic palm? We'll have to wait and find out. <laughs> That's the link, all right. That was still open? Oh no. Oh shit. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the fishbowl bed on the back. <laughs> oh, it's too good. It's too good. Is there like a, there has to be, uh, like an overly long kind of gotcha move, like a single hit kill kind of goof move in Tekken? I know that there's like the, the Paul super punch, right? There's some goofs like that. I guess you can blow yourself up as Jack. You could stab yourself as Yoshimitsu. But is there like a, if you leave me alone for 10 seconds and then get grabbed by this dumb thing, I just win? <sighs> Big wobbly anime Dobon Honkaros. God bless you, Asher's Wrath. You understand. Look, you even got the little like butt divot skin dentations. Yeah, they, they have a lot of that stuff in Guilty Gear for sure. Oh, Sakura. Devanam Indra Deus. I cannot believe I'm seeing it with my own eyes. It's magnificent. Not even the Colossi can compare to its power. By merging with the Karma Fortress, it has become the most powerful being in existence. It will purify Goma of Litra with the use of pr the priestess's power and the seven trillion souls we have accumulated. But would that not also destroy the planet as well? Huh, perhaps. If it was just the Brahmastra. But now that Lord Deus has merged with the Karma Fortress, he can concentrate the blast with great precision. 
Sakra Devana Mindra Deus is invincible! <laughs> Deus, once the commander of the eight guardian generals, a symbol of Shin Kuku Trastrium's military might, and now self proclaimed god and leader of the seven deities. His reign of terror ends now. Miguel has a one shot in Tekken 7. Okay. Miguel. Alright. It's 420 somewhere. Hold on. I ain't doing this sober. Gaming. So, find Mithra there. Mithra's here. Yes. Let's head towards the center. It was nice to see uh, Square at the Xbox Developer Direct. Now I'm kind of curious. I'm wondering. I guess I could just buy it on PS5, but... You... Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I just realized, you guys. If Final Fantasy XIV comes to Xbox, that means it's going to have achievements. Maybe there'll be like a 360-11 achievements where it's just like level every job to maximum. Oh, I got distracted. I keep thinking I have such an ample opportunity to look at and interact with chat, but that's not true. What is this place? This is the reactor that turns the souls into mantra. If we destroy it, it will cut off Deus's energy supply. What do you want to do? A completionist nightmare? Oh, 14 is already that. There's only one living human, I think, that has, uh that got all the in-game achievements in Final Fantasy XIV. But that's in-game. The Xbox layer achievements are bound to be a lot more generic and gettable. Here's the real thing, though. Will I be able to buy it on Xbox, log in, and just sit back for two hours while achievements continue to pop? Proving my gaming superiority. Hey, what's up, Prax? My day is great. I've had a great day so far, I have to admit. Had a nice dinner with Steph. Uh, she was up early enough that we could have a nice cafe, or go to a nice cafe and have a relaxed breakfast. Came home, did a very small amount of work, posted the games cast, uh, did some tidying up around the house. I did some laundry, I still gotta do some dishes, no big deal. Just had the leftover toast from breakfast and some yogurt, sipping on some coffee, playing one of the finest games, hanging out with a group of Oh, kind video game intellectuals. Max Payne 3 and Ashra's Wrath Respectors. Can, who can ask for more? This is what is best in life. I'm, a, I'm drinking a beer, gonna have some pasta later. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, also I'm like, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, I didn't lift, I didn't lift today. I actually was pretty sore. Uh, some of the chest stuff that I did last night hit some of the muscles on my back that honestly really needed hitting, but they're quite sore today. And maintaining proper back musculature is something I'm heavily focusing on. So I'm gonna give it a day. 
go back in for pull day. That's tomorrow. But, uh, feeling good. I'm enjoying it. Uh, switching up my diet and nutrition and, and exercise in the new year just to see what kind of results I get. I feel like the last time uh, I tried to lift, I didn't, I didn't really have as good of control over my diet as I do now. So I think I'll get better results or things that are uh, something closer to what I'm looking for this time. So we'll see six weeks from now how I feel. But feeling pretty good about that. Oh, hey, Woda. Thank you for the resub and that peak, little peak see of that beautiful golden kappa. How many shubs to show us them guns you get jacked when you get after you get jacked as fuck? Oh, they'll they'll make their appearance. I mean, when summer rolls around, I'll probably just be wearing tank tops again. So, you split it up into push pull days. It's it's legs push pull. There's three days and then there's two workouts for each basically. Um, it's actually a really good program. Essentially, it's like. So on legs, push and pull, you essentially have like two major lifts for both of those activities. Legs is squats and deadlifts. Uh, push is bench and, uh, I forget. Um, I think actually dumbbell, dumbbell overhead or, uh, yeah, military press is the other one. And then for pull, it's, it's, uh, rows, like penley rows and pull-ups, I think. Anyway, uh, I, I forget the specifics, but essentially it's like, you have one block where you lead with the one lift and the secondary lift, you do less weight, but more reps. And then when you roll back around for the second block, then the second lift is the primary lift, lower, lower reps, higher weight. And then a ton of like, a ton of like, uh, accessory workouts after the two main lifts. So, so for like legs, it was a heavy squat day, a light deadlift day, and then like lunges, leg extensions, calf raises, accessory lifts, just to kind of burn everything out. But yeah. It's a it's a nice workout. It makes sense. Uh, I like the I like the lifts a lot. <sighs> Getting back into it though. Getting back in. I'm finding there's a lot of uh, this this is like it intellectually stands to reason, but I'm finding there's a lot of smaller muscle groups that I thought I was maintaining, but there's still range of motion stuff, stretching stuff. Uh, there's a, there's a lot of stuff that doing weighted resistance training is is hitting that just doing cardio or like ring fit wasn't quite hitting. The f to say it more directly, the first time I did overhead presses, my shoulder like popped and it felt great. So just like having having like weight kind of pushing my shoulders back. I do understand. Settled some things in. I must do what I think is right. And then going through that range of motion again with resistance. It was like scratching all the little angles inside of my body that I haven't touched in a while. It felt felt fantastic. You're a danger to my world. Consider your lives me. Oh, he's gonna whip me up. Yeah, I'm gonna be the Joe Rogan of gaming. <sighs> Go on like 20 minute rants about how the left is brainwashing everybody to take control. I go on my share of rants, right? I go on my share of straw man, uh, conspiratorial games media bullshit for sure. That'll be, that's my version of it. To, all to establish my uh, thoroughly unearned reputation as a rogue and an outsider. Because I was brave enough to say a game was good. Wait, so me I have a muscle imbalance? Right arm is weaker? Yeah, it's weird to feel, right? My left is weaker, which kind of stands to reason. Whenever I do exercises that kind of isolate one side or the other, I try to tack on an extra rep or two to my left side. Be the Joe Rogan of gaming. It's not having your own opinion about stuff. It's having a lot of guests you agree with and mind, mind, mindlessly before throwing softball questions. I can do that. 
<laughs> You're just talking about the inside games cast. Ow! Which will soon be the number one gaming podcast on the internet, I'm sure. Oh shit, that was cool. He countered me. Brave enough to hate Pal World. Here's the problem, Blind Observer. I played it more last night, and I actually, I kind of get it now. I kind of like it. I, I, I did not see. So the thing that I suspected about it, the same thing that like Dredge did, was really streamlined progression. Like really, really get really smart about it. Games are getting really, really good at making the next thing interesting, gettable, and right, and kind of in your visible path. Upgrading the PAL box is kind of critical to that. And then also the process of like building a structure, finding the PAL to work it, and then seeing the PAL do it inside of your base. Those are things that you, I didn't get at all playing with other people. Um, cause that was happening all automatically. So, I just experienced it in, in a bad circumstance, I think. And, and I'll be honest, it was like, I was, I was pretty ready to write it off. But uh, it was, Bruce's, Bruce did a good job convincing me. Or he sold an experience to me that I, I thought might have been in the game, but didn't see myself. <sighs> okay. Ugh. Okay, I gotta just, okay. I can either wait for him to stun. The stun window seemed pretty obvious, actually, like this. I, there's yeah, there's no need for me to push it. Have you read much about the studio? Not especially, no. Um, I read some. There was like an there's some past interviews because the CEO has been pretty quiet since the game launched, which is really smart. Uh, boy, they could they could be digging themselves such a terrible hole right now. Getting getting provoked into to giving the media headlines is essentially what it would be. So, respect on them for shutting shutting up. No, I think okay, I can dodge through it, I think. Oh, I thought that was the thing. But now, now, that, now that I've like seen more of its mechanical core, I can appreciate the parts of it that aren't just a ripoff of Pokemon. Because there is, there is a game there that's not Pokemon. And it, it's also got features that other survival sims don't have that make it different. I think the game would still be interesting and playable if the PAL designs were not as good as they are. I don't think it'd be as successful. But then it gets it gets really weird. Like, where do you draw the line there? And how much of its success does it owe to Pokemon? Probably a lot. But Yeah, shut the fuck up, best advice. Mm-hmm. I'm glad that that just in general, and again, maybe I'm fully projecting here, but it is nice for more and more people to wake up and realize that social media doesn't matter. Online discourse doesn't matter. It only it only matters as much as you like pay attention to it. And you don't have to pay attention to it. God. Like it's I think I think a lot of people assumed that it was it was going to be critical to life and reaching people, but it's really not. It can help. But there's a dance you have to do now. I guess that's always been the case in the public's in the public sphere. What are you doing that now?
Conan survival games already did slaves. Yeah, Rust. Didn't Rust do it? You could like tie somebody up and keep them in a cage. Other player characters. I don't. I think the com the commentary stuff is cheeky at best. But still, having cheek is better than having no no personality at all, which is what most survival sims have. So I don't mind it. Why isn't anyone? Wait, hasn't anyone said it's like commie propaganda? Because it is. It could be is it like an indictment of of industrialization and labor exploitation. It could. I guess that's a little too nuanced, but it's a Chinese studio. You could just see it. A, like I think it's 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 a one-dimensional take, but that's what games media is for. So why hasn't anyone said that this is like, this is labor propaganda from China trying to brainwash our kids? Yeah, an allegory for hypercapitalism. Or, I guess it'd be more like uh, the exploitative capitalism. It's not really anti-colonialist. Yeah, we're all wage slaves. But that makes us the pals. Hmm. I'll have to workshop this one. What? I hit dodge. Hey. Yeah, the game doesn't seem to ever censure you for doing those things, though. I guess the mo- The- the most, like, I'm 14 and this is deep take I've seen is that it's like, it's pro-labor exploitation. I'm just- I- There- there's so much weird- Like, the xenophobia pops up in weird ways in gamer culture. Like the whole Epic Game Store sending your data to China stuff. So I'm kind of surprised it hasn't it hasn't tipped over into that yet. Maybe that's what I can do as the Joe Rogan of gaming. Make it about a culture war somehow. Depends on the platform. YouTube and X have pretty toxic comment sections, but YouTube Live and Twitch are pretty good. You know what they are, General? I agree. YouTube comment sections can be made civil with some pruning. X Twitter is just gone. Twitter is a place for negativity. There's no culture of, of respect or civility there. Instagram's not bad. I guess, yeah, you're right, Scotsman. <laughs> Depends whose Twitch chat you're in. Wonderful 101's ending. Sorry, Sam, I didn't see your comment before. Or I saw your comment before. I'm only just now processing it. Yeah, I, I want to play through all Platinum games. What a what a studio. They're out Their output has been so good. Or so fun, I should say, and diverse. That was Instagram. Okay, Instagram's bad. I guess I said that realizing how little of Instagram I've actually spent time in. You are satisfied. As many as it takes to save the world. Enough. There's tons of hate comments on any topic. Okay. Yeah, I was speaking in complete ignorance when I said that. Oh, I now I now realize. Is Instagram worse than Twitter? Yeah, it says it would absolutely include the Clover games. 
Really? Wow. She cries because she knows that the world's suffering. Once my world is liberated from the Goma, I shall cease all the cries. Probably you're filthier and grosser than Twitch or than Twitter. Wow. How'd you comments are just cruel and fucked up for no reason. Oh, wow. Okay. I am very lucky that I don't see a lot of that stuff then. I had no idea. Yeah, that would drag me down seeing that shit. I choose not to, even though I know it's out there. Coder looks like it's just fine, I hope. I knew it! Okay, I'm learning this game's language. Awesome. Yeah, man. I think, well, God of War 3 happened before this. Look at his face all squishing and stretching. Holy shit. You can barely read that at 60 FPS. And this was a 30 FPS game. They worked so hard on this. Oops. Timing's all whacked. Ugh. Jesus. <sighs> okay. It's a lot of the timing windows shifted just a little bit. Oh wait, Power World Company's Japanese? My bad. Holy shit. Absolutely epic fail. How come no one corrected me? And... Correctly pointing out that I would get snippy is not an acceptable answer here. Oh, you did? Okay, I missed it. I didn't see. I mean, honestly, Captain, it doesn't feel like a Japanese-developed game because the UI is not good at all. It's got a very, like, functional PCOS kind of UI, and a lot of Chinese games have that. Um, so it wasn't, it wasn't just the, it wasn't just the knockoff aspect, although that, you know, certainly was probably in the back of my mind. It was more the UI. Well, now I have to like it, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> you can embrace it. As long as we all agree not to cancel me. But yeah, apologies. I, I even knew that. I read about the studio a little bit. Am I racist? <laughs> well, hold on a minute. <laughs> That's all we were missing. Hmm. 
you thought it was a Korean game? The characters were not angelically hot enough. That's the tell. There were ugly characters in it. If it was like a porcelain doll with just the most immaculately perky breasts. So near? Not even near. Um, near is close. No. Uh, now Korean video game characters are on another level. Like they are, they are somehow hornier than even the horniest Japanese characters. Maybe maybe this is just me exposing my tastes, but uh, like uh, yeah. What is it? I'm trying to think of the most. Terra had some hot hot babes. Um, was that one with like angels and stuff? You could fly around as an angel. It was like in the 20, 2010s or something. So yeah, Black Desert. Black Desert character looked like a straight up K-pop idol. Yeah. Charging at whatever is in front of you. That studio's next game might blow people away, but it also might never come out. They're making a single player like open world MMO. Oh, there's another Goma. What happened to Blonde Ganon? I blew him up with my rage powers. Now that one artist, uh, I keep... To me, it was always the my introduction to, I guess, Korean art, which is a whole lot of weight to put on a single artist, but... There's that artist that did the... There's the lead artist, or the principal artist on Magna Carta. Hyung Tae Kim. Yeah. Oh, Vlitra itself. Alright, I'm gonna show you something right now. Okay? It's the second... No. Third. Third image result. That's not porn. I realize I should probably close it because good God, but. It's like even more grotesquely sexual than Shirao, which is itself grotesquely sexual. Anyway, the games aren't quite that sweaty, no. but they're definitely down that track most of the time. Shouldn't. South Korea's, I don't know, I'm speaking out of my ass as, a, as an American, but it seems like they inherited America's prud prudishness towards sex, which means that sex has to like hide itself, but it bursts out at the seams in weird ways. I guess, yeah, porn is illegal there. Straight up illegal. I see. I forgot about that. So not even you know. And then there is no hope. Mithra. Mithra. It's not inherited, it's tradition. It goes back centuries. Yeah, I guess I, well, I guess I assumed it was, uh... Uncle? Downstream of the, uh, Korean War. Do not deserve to be called your uncle. It is all right. They seem to pick up. Uh, I'm speaking in the broadest generalizations now. I realize, but there's a lot of like Western Western Christianity that pervades Korean culture, right? Maybe it was just because it was like there was already a good match there. But there is still something left we must do. What's the name of that Korean game you mentioned? What? That's coming out. Coming out is in air quotes, but let me look it up. This. It's like Red Desert? Come on. Pearl Abyss. What are they working on? Crimson Desert. Yeah. Yeah, no uh no release date, I don't think.
Yeah, General, I, I agree, by the way. I am all about obviously adult proportioned hypersexualized anything. Give me the fertility goddesses. That's fine. Make one a playable character, even better. Uh, but yeah, when you start to like. Definitely crosses a line with certain body types. Final Fantasy XIV is tastefully horny sometimes. I appreciate it. The characters that are uh, absurdly proportioned are usually representative of, you know, fat tits. And there's some there's some stout thighs and butts in that game too. Oh, we got a schemer, my liege. There was little, wait, Deus is my lieging? Is there a king of the cosmos? There is little time before Vlitra's next revival. If we do not start preparing preemptive measures soon, it will be too late. Emperor Strata. Oh, okay. Choosing to do nothing is also an option. With change comes opposition. Shinkoku would not respond well. Would you have our people take up arms and wait for Vlitra's return? After we finally obtained a moment of peace? With each awakening, Vlitra grows more powerful than the last. Next time, our forces may not be enough to subdue it. The rate at which our civilization is growing far surpasses that of the impure. Furthermore, the eight guardian generals have never been stronger, especially with such a powerful priestess. But my liege! Enough. You have... I have given you my answer. You are dismissed. Ooh. to my office. Commander Deus, the Emperor did not grant us permission? Regrettably, no. The Emperor is only interested in protecting himself. He must be disposed of. Then you shall rise to the throne. Brilliant. Do not misunderstand. I have no intention of becoming Emperor. Commander? It is my destiny to purge this planet of the impure. And if I must be the one to guide our people in doing so, then so be it. But I will always be a warrior. Once we have accomplished our goal, I shall resign my post. But you'll just be sacrificing yourself for the cause. My purpose has always been for the cause. I have no desire to sit on a throne for all eternity. The source of all Goma, Vlitra. The will of the planet, casting a large shadow. It is more terrifying and monstrous than it was long ago. To save the world, Asura must overcome the will of Mother Gaia herself. Deus may represent pride? He does, yes. They said that, actually. I was curious what, um... What, uh... Osra's buddy, I can't remember his name. The cowboy. Hmm. I see what you mean though. That's an exp an expression of pride. Melancholy? Really? He's melancholy? Yeah. Yeah, he is. Holy shit. I forgot melancholy was one of the uh Lust would have been the, uh, the flouncy boy that got carved in half. He lusted after beauty. He lets them murder his sister? Yeah. He's, he's so drowned by the sorrows of the world that he's, he's inactive. That, that's like, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Yeah, check out this title card. Oh, he's vanity? Never mind. Who's less than? Gluttony is obviously the big guy. Olga? Plus for power, maybe? Yeah, must be must be lady, right? She's not lustful though. That sucks. That's where it breaks, right? Because then it's just male gaze. But whatever. If you're talking about ancient lore, ancient lit ancient literature illusion, it is all typically male gaze.
Is homage sexist? Yeah, she lusts for approval and affection. Yeah. At that point, it just boils down to desire. Yeah. Yeah. She got them wicked ghiblies, though. She got that big bap. Isn't lust desire? Eh. I think lust is a powerful but superficial form of desire. It's one dimensional and very strong. Like it controls you. I guess that's what passion is. I guess lust leads to passion. Hey, remember this? Hate leads to suffering. Did episode two or episode one lead anyone to Buddhism, I wonder? Star Wars nerds learning how to deprive themselves of earthly desire. Some dude swearing he's not gonna crank his hog anymore. Gonna be like a Jedi. Master Yoda would not have me crank my hog. Hog cranking is not the way of the Jedi. Had the VOD of when I killed Wizen? Is it not published? Twitch is getting real sensitive about that these days. Oh, I was getting a good scratch going. Ow, ow, ow. What if an alien race in Star Wars cranked hog as a greeting? Star Trek kind of played around with that a little bit. I remember there was one episode, like, some, some wacky alien dude with a weird face got on the Enterprise. And he was all flustered walking down the hallway. And the captain was like, what's your problem, fish man? And the fishman was like, there were people in a room together just eating. Captain was like, what, your, your people don't eat? And then he was like, well, yes, but only people who care about each other and only in private. So it was like obviously an allegory for sex, right? But a, a safe way for TV. But yeah, there definitely got to be orgy aliens where it's like, Like, maybe they piss on each other as a sign of greeting. They have little piss washrooms in every home for that reason. So when you first meet somebody, you whip out your organs and pee on each other, and that's how you get to know each other. It's out there. Oh, man. Ass to ass. A true bro configuration. Yeah, you're right. That would be Rick and Morty. Star Trek explores those ideas with class and subtlety. Rick and Morty just said, but what if they ficked? <laughs> Justin Roiland is a comedic genius. I want to finish high on life. That reminds me. I kind of like that game. Even though it's like, sort of, like it's attitude of perpetually doing the jerk off motion with one hand. That attitude got a little stale after a while. How cool is this? God damn. 
How is only Ashra's Wrath this cool still? Yeah, I, I guess Final Fantasy 16 though. There are some moments in 16 like this. But it's definitely not the whole game. Oh, what's your next COD game? Black Ops on the DS. And then Modern Warfare 3. And then the last DS Call of Duty, so... Up, uh, we're on the up and up. It might be a minute till I get back to COD, though. We got some big games coming out. I think I think in the future it might be Freedom Friday for a while, where every Friday is Call of Duty. But then, it, but that, what a laser sound! Um, the problem with that is games come out on Friday, so I can't be dedicating Fridays to playing old Call of Duties when there's new Tekkens out. I did finish Max Payne 3, Evan, yeah. It's overwhelming. <laughs> Giving up. Are you? Don't make me alive. That is what I thought. You never change. That is why I cannot give up either. I will not fall behind you. Keep up! Did he voice his Oscar as one of the greats? Yeah. Liam O'Brien. Liam O'Brien and Robin Atkin Dows. The two basically leads of the game. Damn fine voice actors. I mean, I think, I think like, I want to say a good 20% of No More Heroes was Robin Atkin Dows performance. To me, that is like, that is Travis Touchdown. And although Travis Touchdown is not as iconic as like Max Payne. Oh, jeez. Oh, maximum arms! Oh, so buff! This is what Daughter's Love does. I'm gonna look like that in two weeks. I'm gonna eat a couple slices of turkey, I'm gonna do 15 push-ups, and then I'm gonna get up and just BOOM! Imagine Yuri Lowenthal screaming in this. I mean, Yuri had some real good screams in Spider-Man 2. I'm, I'm glad that Spider-Man 2 let him walk around with the character a little bit. Cause he got a, he did a lot of good in there. Oh, I, I think, I see what they're doing. Whoa, come on. Man, it's hard to see those.
Boom. Learn it, cool. Yeah, there's still like three games left in the prequel thon, too. That's like a four year old project at this point. I need to get that on the uh, the old soundboard. The planet cool. Done Jedi Outcast 2 yet? I guess Jedi Outcast 2 would be Jedi Academy? No? I didn't really like Jedi Academy. I guess it wasn't that long. Jedi Outcast was pretty cool. Doesn't have FMV though. Jedi Academy is Jedi Knight 3. Yeah. Dark Forces 4. <laughs> it's complicated. Jedi out Jedi Knight Outcast 2. You're throwing a lot of there's Jedi Knight 2, colon, Jedi Outcast. Is that the one you're referring to? I like the in-engine one. I remember that. I remember th remembering that one fondly, but it didn't have FMV. It was alright. That was, uh... Somebody made that. Who made that? That wasn't Raven, was it? Or was that LucasArts? No, that was Raven. Nice. Well timed, how tough am I? This is it, right? Yes. Yes. It better be. God, look at this Elden Ring ass fight. The gamers had this in 2011 and they dropped the ball. That, that, uh, frame pause when you get hit, though. It's very kind.
Oh, wow. It's... I thought he was going to go after me. But I still missed the dodge, so it doesn't matter. Oh, cheap. God, I keep expecting there to be a beat. Dang it! I was like on the way down from a jump. By the time, like in between the tell happening and me getting hit, there was nothing I could do. So I guess don't jump. But I wanted to close the distance. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, oh, so Darren, this game is kind of different. The enemies don't really have health bars. I fight until I get pissed off enough to like freak out and do the attack that ends the fight or transitions to a new phase. So essentially it's the meter going up that is the gate to the next phase of the fight. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a bit of a shift, but it kind of makes sense. Um, I gotta use the restroom real quick though. I'll be right back. Okay. Situate in. Settle into my gamer groove. I saw somebody say in chat, pirated P90X and the Yoga was the hardest. Yoga X was really hard, yeah. That was like, that was like the rest day too, but it was straight up the hardest one. I think it's because the interval workouts for P90X, they kind of, they designed around you repeatedly hitting your burnout and taking a short rest. But the implication that you're supposed to do the whole yoga routine and go through all those movements. Damn, that sucks. It's a little late. Yeah, I guess sometimes in games like this, it's hard for me to understand that sometimes passivity is the best option. You're meant to dodge for a minute and not always be closing distance or trying to land damage.
Damn, I was hoping I could top out the meter. Wait, are you tired? What's going on? Shit! Ah, shit. Oh, I thought I was gonna get hit. I'm jumping. Fuck! F <sighs> uh. I guess I should stop jumping. I don't feel like I can close the distance without jumping, though. Yeah, it's a good time for a gamer stretch. It just it sucks to see it coming, you know? Oh. Yes, exhibit. I encourage when the gamer stretches pop up, if you know, if you have the space and the time, I encourage everybody to get up and do a little stretch. Uh. I could probably stand to stretch my hips out. If there's next gamer stretch, I'm gonna do a nice squat. I really get down in there. Too early, I guess. I think I rolled through and hit the other side. Too early? I think it's too early. I think I'm going too early. I feel like I should probably just restart to get my health back, but whatever, I'm in it now. It's good practice. Okay, all right. I'm only allowed to jump when he's, he's in an animation or something. Oh, zapped. I, uh... My rich bish goal this year is to buy a standing desk, which I'm sure I'll barely use. I've thought about it. I don't know, I like to stream for- I like to stream all day if I can. I guess adjusting is where you go from there, but eh. I'm doing okay. I feel like my ergonomics are mostly dialed in. Getting up every so often helps. What are you doing? What is that? Oh. Never saw that from the back. Hold on. Wait a minute. I mentioned this yesterday, but I work as a maintenance guy at an airport, and I have a sick-ass coworker that dresses exactly like Sephiroth with the boots and long white hair. They even copy his voice every time I've interacted with them. So cool seeing Sephiroth walk around with tools. 
That's awesome. Man. But there's like there's no like pretense. They don't ask you to, to ask them what their name is or anything like that. They are just Sephiroth. Beautiful. He does have the Masamune. Yeah, can can airport staff carry a katana into the airport? What if it's a religious item? Day John? It's going very well. This game is awesome. I feel like I mostly downloaded this boss. Hit me. I thought I got away with that. enough. And the earth was saved. Man, I was I was gripping that controller pretty tight near the end there. I'm thinking about that. Stephanie got me this new controller for my birthday. I need to make sure not to grip like cracks into it again. Make this one last a little longer.
Is it over? Is it really all over? I don't know. Well, is your wrath gone? <laughs> Utterly class. <laughs> These camera movements, sheesh. Mithra. Mother. The like the negative space for the card. Yeah, Harry, Hell Hellblade 2 is going to be a day one Game Pass title. Anything, uh, anything that Microsoft publishes or any Microsoft owned studio, their game will be day one on Game Pass. Now, here's the goddamn trick that drives me crazy. There's going to be a Hellblade 2 collector's fucking edition that's going to launch five days earlier. And Microsoft will give them the, themselves permission to call that early access and not just the game coming out. Bastards. Bastards. Maybe they only do that with games that are like branded and people super care about. Ones they know they get to squeeze people twice on. Like Starfield and Forza. Yeah, Dejan. This is kind of what I was saying earlier. I get I get that on paper it like it's so galling that the real ending is not you don't get it with the game, right? But that's a real ending. It's as real as anything else in the story, which is all bullshit. So why does it matter? It's still it's still pretty satisfying, isn't it? I don't feel like I got ripped off. Yeah, there is an after credit scene. I remember the after credit scene did imply something else. But like, of course it does, right? That's what they all do. So it, even the after credit scene implied there was more goofiness to, to be had in this universe. That's kind of the tone that I remember. This is, but we'll see. I don't know if it's like if his daughter gets captured again in the after credits. That would suck. It does more than imply. Okay, all right. I'll, with, I'll withhold judgment, but... Yeah, that was that was the normal ending, I think. Which I'll give it credit for. It didn't spend more time than it needed to. I can't I never understand why uh like video game characters are usually not that complicated and their stories are usually not that complicated. But for some reason video game endings feel the need to celebrate your participation or your investment in the game along with everything else. So even though these simple characters participate in this very simple story, they have to have this very ornate, long-winded, like mournful celebratory ending to match your mood as you're getting to the end of it. Nah, man, just be over. <laughs> it's okay when you run out of things to say. Maybe the problem is if you never had anything to say. The setting was a bit abrupt. Eh. The show was abrupt. I didn't mind it. Yeah, saved the daughter. Blew up the bad guy. What's there left to do? Near? If you flip that around and then turn it and then put the end on the other side. Yeah, the the animated episodes were DLC only, so those wouldn't have been part of the, the run of the game. 
But even still, with that removed, I don't know. I think this is worth 60 bucks. Like five hours, maybe, of, of sick-ass anime fights. Yeah, it's a great spectacle. Is it still 60? It's not anything. I don't think you can buy it. <laughs> I think there's such a relative value on things that are rare. You know? You can play any survival sim you want. So one more survival sim doesn't get a bonus in value by filling a, filling a void. But a game like this... The games that are one of a kind... I feel like there should be a there should be a premium added to their value. Used it's about $110. Wow. That's more than I thought. I guess there's not a lot of copies floating around. Rule of Rose. Is that a survival horror game? Oh, no worries, Dayjohn. I'm glad you liked it. There's a... Uh... I never played Rule of Rose. Hey, there's Ono. That damn smile. check it out. I know that FromSoft did that one survival horror on PS2. I can't remember the name of it off the top of my head. That one is, uh, that one goes for a pretty penny, I know. Remember the cover's like red? It's like one word. Not Kuon, is it? No, that's like the judge. Seiji Shimoda. I wonder what else they've they've directed. Oh, it is Kuon. All right, never mind. Juon is the grudge. Yeah. Right, post credits time. Cause yeah, there's a whole new chapter that's DLC, right? It's like three new episodes, four new episodes. It's been a while. Do you remember me? Seems you have bested Vitra. Suppose I ought to congratulate you. The time has finally come. I'm going to enjoy this. Mm -hmm. Oh, how rude of me. I was just talking to myself. Pretend I never said a thing. Anyways, lots of work to be done in Araka, so I'll be on my way now. Ta-ta. Mm. Suspicious. I mean, that's... Is that it? That's not it. That's not the tease. For the true ending, you must beat the hidden episode. Hidden episode can be unlocked by achieving S rank in five or more episodes or complete 50 or more episodes on any difficulty. I didn't know you had to unlock it. Interesting. Can I just do it though? Did they add an ability to unlock it? <sighs> that wasn't so bad. Really? Was it just the spider? Hmm. <sighs> oh. 
Oh right, you don't get the real true poor ending. Awesome. They don't they don't tease it out if you already bought it. I need to see the real true poor ending. I need to see just how galling it is. I got the bad ending of Asura's Wrath. That's a 12 minute video, bro. Final ending? I don't know what to call this. That's what you had to unlock. Eh? Oh, if you- okay. You unlock the thing and then you see the tease to content that you haven't done yet. I mean, that's... Isn't that better, though? That it's, like, behind a grind? Because then the- if you're, like, if you're happy with anything you got, you just stop. Is there a way to see it in this version of the game? <laughs> trying to mash through the cutscenes. Oh, okay. Is it really? Oh, here we go. Okay. Mithra. Okay. S ranks are 50 episodes. Gotcha. And then you get this. This is the proper ending to no DLC, Osiris Wrath. All right. All right. Yeah, I guess they never really wrapped her up, did they? I am very happy to see you both in one piece. If you had lost to Vlitra, who would I exact my revenge on? Olga, stop this! I shall. She should know better than to take his daughter hostage. Lord Deus was everything to me. As long as Lord Deus was alive, nothing else mattered. But he is gone. I will never see him again. Now, you shall feel my pain! Oh, sick. Sick! So tragic. I do not think so. You shall not destroy my precious vessel. Nice. Dang it, hold on, folks. Hold on. We got some ads going on. Oh, jeez. Damn it! I'm not gonna sneeze! I wanna sneeze so bad. Ah. Ah. Alright, some people got stuck in ads there. Ah. Oh, episode 19 starts with this? Okay, I was curious how that works, so let's just let's just go forward then. Play through episode eighteen. Did I I did that though, right? Yes, I did. True episode eighteen. Oh, you've not fulfilled. Oh, okay, that's this one. Ah, uh, okay, all right, okay, all right. They call it a true episode. Yeah. So wait, it says an S rank in five? I thought I did that. One, two, three, four, five. Those don't count? This showed up and people got pissed. All right. Five or more episodes. Three, four, five. But these are DLC. Maybe that's why they, maybe they don't count. Or the point fives may not count. Also, some of them, well, wait. Uh, 
Okay, so how many... Okay, so one... Two... Three... Alright, so I need to get two more S ranks. I can probably do that. Real quick. It's gotta be easy at the beginning, right? Bop, 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 bop. Now I'm gonna be in, in pro gamer mode, mashing through every cutscene. You can all you can just start episode 19. Does it does it literally start exactly the same? It's just the same cutscene. General I don't know. I kind of don't mind them giving you something to do, teasing out further content. But yeah, gamers don't want to feel manipulated. Like, how weird is that? Gaming is all manipulation. That's all it is. It's a it's a smoke and mirrors down to its very core. And yet, the second you like theoretically extort money out of people's wallets, but they're cool with it in some ways. I don't know. It's so so weird. Builds off the cliffhanger. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty gutsy. But it like nothing else was gonna work, right? I don't blame them for being aggressive. It's also like a melodramatic storyline. So no one's like. I don't think anybody's living or dying on what happens to Osra's daughter. Oh, thank you for the prime, Andrew. Yeah, that's true as well, Captain. Yeah, people were hyper paranoid about DLC back then, so they were they were uh, all ginned up, ready to get angry about companies stepping over the line of perceived value, and that's absolutely what that was. So I get it. I don't want to get it, but I get it. I mean, rightly so, yeah, but the thing is, like, gamers were absent for the battles that actually needed to be fought, or just did not realize that there was a whole other audience that was far more willing to spend money than they were. This game rules at this speed. Oh, I took two hits. Is that enough? God damn it. It is. Son of a bitch. How do we get more battle points? <sighs> All right, I'll just I'll just uh I'll just start episode 19. Back here. The world does not need you. Mother Gaia, we are so back. Whoops. have been chunked up. It seems louder now. <laughs> I am very happy to see you both in one piece. Yeah, I think alerts have gone scuffed. Oh well. 
Who would I exact my revenge on? Stop this! And now, you shall feel my pain! I do not think so. Yeah, I see the badge, Andrew, but I don't see anything on my end indicating that you subbed, which is weird. Oh, there's that. J114, thank you. Well, okay. All right. That's all I got. Oh, okay. Damn you, spider. It was him all along. Oh, spider daughter. Spidotter? Spadotter! I am the true god. The embodiment of the wheel of life. The spinner of all mantra. So it wasn't it wasn't the same. It wasn't the same video. It's close enough though. They don't need to hide it from me because I bought the DLC. Uh, I'm kind of down with a cheeky melodrama game that teases juicy developments after you play the game a ton. You have defeated the will of the planet. But I get why that would not be in everybody's tolerance. Especially if they're over-concerned about the state of microtransactions. The bummer is, in retrospect, this is theoretically a really cool kind of game that microtransactions transactions could have enabled. Yes. Oh, it's the exact same video? Sheesh. Why do I say things when I'm not paying attention? That's the real question here. Ancestors. What? I had the planet's will give birth to Vlitra and scattered the Goma around this world to test you. All to shape you. Into a suitable vessel. Ah. Spider wants my body. The one who controls the planet is the one fit to guide it. Fantasy ass boss. God damn. Oh, sick. Tell me that. How is this not worth any money? There is a reason why you must continue to climb, isn't there? I get it. I get it, but. Mm. Our battle just now. Everything is as I have intended it. It cannot be. Now, now give me your hand, Redeemer Asu. Receive the monstrous power, and with it, create a new world order. That looks so sick. Little rainbow waves coming off. Oh, man. I'm afraid to punch it, but I'm going to have to. He's the reason for it all. Time to punch fate in the face. Oh, wasn't ready. The AT field. Very well. Another, Another try. try. Fucking 
firing DNA helix balls at me. Wow. My health is gone. I thought I had one more hit. Mm. I guess you just really have to bail out if you want to be safe. Oh yeah, Metal Gear Solid 4 is gonna be gonna be a nightmare. With the rapid inputs. Ah, uh, Turbo will probably be worth it, I think. I think it's that's the exact same spot i think it maybe it speeds up if you if you interrupt it a couple times in a row
how to do it. For now. He is still screaming. I didn't think it, MGS4 would have QTE issues, it's more just... I'm not sure I want to mash my way down the microwave hallway again. It'll be interesting to see that sequence running at 60 FPS though, because I remember, like, all the split-screen stuff was just murder on the PS3. in there. Too many slappy hands. And video games rock. What is that? What are you doing? Agape Hyperion. Yeah, there's a game here. It is... It does... It is pretty QTE heavy, but it has, it has like, boss fights and it has arena fights. Yeah, there's, there's, there's a video game in here. Ah! Gosh. That really doesn't do much damage, thank God. It doesn't really do any damage. That seems co concerning. Oh, that does a lot of damage, though. Shit. Gameplay loop hasn't changed since the beginning. Yeah. I'm okay with that, though. There's different fights. There's different bosses with different patterns. There's not a ton of them. Like, it's not Elden Ring. But... The ones that are there are pretty satisfying.
checking the encoders. Yeah, everything looks fine. No! OBS isn't complaining. Just as long as it's, as long as it's still buttery smooth, it can be blurry. I'm excited to check this later. See how hoss my encoders really are. Oh, he had to go. He had to get jokerized to get in there. Tragic! Oh shit. Fuck. Take care of my father! But. Please! <laughs> Another failure. In that case, I shall bring an end to this world and any kids of you. God saying, fuck y'all. This is your problem now. Fine, you do it. Man, the Earth has had a rough day. Or excuse me, Gaia. Damn, that reminds me. I wanted to get a cheeky playthrough of Secret of Evermore in there, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to. With some hot new games coming out. Eye reflection? It doesn't get more artistic than that. Dang. My synchronic rate is the only thing buoying up my uh, my score here. Gonna take a break or stream until done? I mean, I'm gonna take a break at some point. Just because taking breaks are nice. I actually might get up and stretch my legs a little bit and use the restroom here. We gotta get through, let's get through this, uh, denouement. Denouement, I think. I, that's one of those words I always thought was French. Oh, we're in Mithra's subconscious. All right. The Goma? But why? Vletra was defeated. Indeed, the source of the Goma was defeated, and thus the Goma should no longer appear. But in the end, it is just my manipulation of the planet's rage, my creation. If I so, if I choose to do so, I can spawn as many Goma as I wish. That's all there is to it. Simple. Yeah, this artwork, dude. Why would you do such a thing? To find my heir, the one who will guide this world in my stead. 
Why do you not just let us be? We finally have found peace. Your peace is but a fleeting moment in the eternal span of time. One who can guide your kind on the right path must be chosen. If it is a fleeting moment, why do you not leave us to savor it? It is my destiny as the one who possesses power. In that case, your power is not needed. Not needed, you say? Your precious mantra, born from prayers and souls, was bestowed upon you by none other than me. If the wheel of life, which I control, is lost, so is the mantra. What do you think will happen to your kind then? <laughs> the Tribune man punching his way out. Your kind will become mere mortals. And that's not all. Your father, whose life force is completely dependent on the power of his mantra of wrath, will cease to exist. Uh huh? Rest now. The next time you awaken, you will be next to your father, who will have taken my place as the god of your world. Father. So tragic. His power is unimaginable, and he sends Asura and Yasha falling towards Gaia. But the battle is far from over. Asura's body is at its limit, no longer able to contain his own wrath. Yasha searches for a way to awaken him. Yasha. There's gonna be more Goma because the big dude said it would be so. Bathroom break. Be right back. I got an apple. I'm trying to really spread out my calories because I didn't work out today, so. I can't be eating willy nilly. Yeah, these are some primo apples. I got a good bag. Envy apples. Not bad. <laughs> Holy volume. No! <laughs> You go forward, nonetheless. Yasha? Sir? Power without a purpose is meaningless and worthless. We got our flashbacks, good, a good. purpose that is firm can change the impossible to the, the anime. possible. That is the power of our cause. Yes, sir. Purpose that is firm. <clears throat> there is not much time left. You are the only one who can save this world. Goma are back, baby. They must have sniffed me out. Honk. Yes! <laughs> 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 
the thing! There, sheesh. Just done that from the start, man. No new enemies. Feeding Vlitra, the Goma still appear. There is plenty of time to deal with the Goma, but first, I must do something about this fool. Come on, that was... Uh, I gotta stop jumping in the air. Take this! <laughs> 
is really not acknowledging me going to the side and taking a bite of apple. Awesome. Headed sloth. Better than a beheaded sloth, I suppose. Thank you for the sub. Dull and simple-minded as you were. You used to have no head. I admit. Well, congratulations on getting one. Even August. They're pretty handy. It's your strength, but your body is unable to withstand the anger you carry inside you. Then there is only one thing left to do. Dunk him in the karmic reactor. <clears throat> Supercharge him. Oh shit, I didn't know you could do a, like a zoom in cam. What the fuck? Take this. Who are you handing that to? Karma Fortress that had accumulated seven trillion souls worth of mantra. The mantra reactor. That's so good though. That's like a really good camera zoom. Greed, sloth, vanity, violence, melancholy, and wrath. These are the mantra that govern the world. Now that all the mantra has been used, it is powerless alone. But it is more than enough to serve as a vessel for your life. <clears throat> My god. <laughs> Together, they combine to form an average middle-aged man. <laughs> Take it. Wow. The eight legendary crests of Bofa D's. Gaming. Tug that out. Must go now, Simmons. All right, I'm on my way. Thanks for the cheer, Squid. You must go now, Simmons. God, I... Do not be mistaken. I am not saving you. You must face the greatest. Brewed coffee. Thanks for the sub. Love the name. Asura, it's time to reclaim me. 
I've already had two cups of coffee today. I want more, but I probably... I probably can't. Ah, a sub and a nice message. Thank you very much. We're getting so close to the greatest QTE in video game history. Oh, I can't wait. I mean, there's the fist pump at the end of Ace Combat Assault Horizon. That's pretty sick. Or wiggling your baby toes as as baby baby Ezio in Assassin's Creed 2. Yeah, pressing F to pay respects. That's a pretty legendary one. Speaking of, I'm going to pay my respects. One second. Still in Mithra's subconscious. The memories I have the memories I have seem so distant, almost like they're nothing but dreams. I will never return to the life I once had. <laughs> A short scene of idyllic home life. A little portrait of Chun Li in the back. Awesome. Asura, did you just eat the vegetables that Mithra left on her plate? Uh, you're too lenient with her. At this rate, we'll never get her to eat vegetables. Hehe. <laughs> ah. Asura and Yasha. We remember that. They are like oil and water, fire and ice. Yet the two rivals' fates never fail to cross. Their long journey together comes to an end. Oh, this is gonna get sad. F to pay respects is the origin of F when a player dies or something. I don't people think people grasp the gravity of that. Yeah, it's a really it's a really far reaching meme. Um, and it came from Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, which was a good Call of Duty. And I think that press F to pay respects is a, is pretty cheeky in the context of that game, because you do it with your your prosthetic arm. You know, uh, prosthesis is kind of a big part of that game, or the cyberization of soldiers, the 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 turning of human soldiers into to uh, weapons of war. You know, it's it's not profound territory, but at least it's there, which is not which is not something every Call of Duty has, like an, an actual idea delivered via its narrative. So the press F to pay respect scene is actually kind of important. Oh, you were still missing an arm at that point. Yeah, so it is even more. You've lost the ability to grieve for your friend. It's tone deaf. It's Call of Duty. Of course it's tone deaf. Call of Duty is tone deaf by design. Like that's what it is. That's part of its, its brand value. Tone deaf. Last Call of Duty I played end with like a wicked guitar sting because a dude had thought himself out of being brainwashed and killed the Nazi scientist that did it while you're looking at like the American fleet. Having just participated in like the Bay of Pigs and uh, Vietnam. And it's awesome. Mitra! I don't want Call of Duty to ever not be tone deaf. It should be the most tone deaf. It shouldn't know what tone sounds like. While you were asleep, the world has become what you see now. It shouldn't even be familiar with the concept of tone. Hey, nice. Rusted Pumpkinhead. Second interview is a success. Third interview with the company president may happen tomorrow. Fuck yeah. The end of the world of which he spoke could begin All right i ate an apple so now i have apple bits in my teeth i gotta get some floss we are out of options his power is too great there is only one way what do you mean let us decide once and for all decide what oh i got my floss who is stronger 
I have to go off camera though because flossing is a delicate and personal matter. <laughs> oh sure. Oh sure, it can be a movie every other time, but when I need to floss, suddenly it's a video game. Teeth clean. Let me see. Ow, ow. You really are. Show me how strong you are. What are you? New Opeth album this year? Ooh. Opeth's pretty heavy. I tried getting into them a while ago. Gosh darn it. Okay. There's a second hit that he does. Can't punish that, huh? Do I have to bait out the counter? Is that kind of how this works? Let me see how strong you really are. Show me how strong you are. What are you? They got lighter on their later albums. I think the lead vocalist said screaming was too harsh on his vocal cords. I'm glad to hear that. Uh, Cause that's kind of what got on my nerves to be honest. The, the vocals went a little too hard for me to like really, really like vibe on it. All right, there's gotta be a way to hurt him. If I come in real fast after a second hit, but I have to basically dodge into it to do that. So maybe that's what you do. I gotta use iframes to get in on him. It's working so far. I can read your every move. Shut up! Yeah! <laughs> 
Get lucky on the dodge. Dodge earlier? Flashback. Let us decide today. Decide what? We played Dante's Inferno? Yeah, I love that game. Oh, sheesh. I got tricked again. Oh, fuck off. God damn. Windows were out of order. Awesome. I don't... God, they just changed all the mechanics, but they're not fucking backing off at all. Ugh. Like, it's not the usual flight mechanics. It's actually... It's like the... It's beat-em-up mechanics. Dude! It just fucking whips my ass. So you can jump. All right, all right, all right, okay. All right, I get it now. <sighs> okay, I gotta figure out when he's weak, I guess. It's actually kind of hard without without a ground. Oh, my God. 
I mean, after that third hit, or that, like, cross slash he does. I think he's countering me. What the fuck? Yeah, okay. Uh, I guess he's using the heavy attacks. Like, he can, he can break through unless he's staggered. Getting tripped up on, on what dodge is, to be honest. Because this game, now that I think about it, actually has the complete invert of a Souls game. Because right bumper is dodge and circle is attack. So, like, even now, sometimes it makes me. My brain will rewire itself in the middle of the fight and I'll just start missing. Ah, uh, a little too early. <sighs> God damn it, when I'm just like a little bit out of range, that sucks. Like that. We're just like some of the hits connect, but you don't get a full combo and he doesn't get knocked down. Oh, whatever. <laughs> Dead. Okay, all right. You can't just move away. I wonder if I can do a follow-up attack and actually hit hit after that. Twirl, it's so fast. I, for some reason, I always think I'll have just a tiny hair of a hair of a second more.
What's wrong? We cannot have any! I'd say the same to you! Do not think you can defeat me with punches like that! Oh, I got the follow up that time. Hey, Nick, thanks for the sub. Three months, thank you very much. Yeah, this is super Dragon Ball. So awesome. I'm tired of seeing your face. And I will end this for you right now. It seems Durga will give birth any time now. <laughs> we sure did punch each other, didn't yes. we? You sure, okay. you sure did, brother. Child does not look like you. It's not your concern. We must make the world a suitable place for the child. <clears throat> Take care of Durga. I will. They keep catching me. Someone like you could do something as important as save the world? You are just a fool that only knows how to break things! And I will break everything, including this living hell! I grow tired of your face. I think it is time we finish this. <laughs> Always a 
fool. Speak for yourself. Uh. Overcome. Uh. Stop, uh. bastard. Ooh, not quite. Oh my god. Oh, okay. I was worried. Ah, shit. Well, whatever. What's inside them if they're covered in uh, odd armor skin? Uh, machine parts. Wires and conduits and metal plates. Dude. <laughs> Slowest fucking QTE in the world. Oh my god. <gasps> the most artistic QTE in the world. Again, it's important. The inputs are linked to Asura most of the time. Sometimes it's a... Uh... I'm already blanking on his name again. Fuck, he's right there. I keep wanting to say Seiji, but that's not it. Anyway, it's awesome. Yasha, thank you. And like fist pound him one last time. <laughs> Shards falling over our memories. Idiot. 
One little tear, no? Stick left to pay respects. Uh, I'm crying a little bit. I'm crying. Uh. It's just the power of gaming. That's that's all it is. Like for real, getting a little misty. Saddest moment in video game history. <laughs> DJ Yeasty. Thank you for gifting some subs to lift our spirits. We've all endured a terrible loss today. Ah, okay. God, they're even leaning into it with like the... He's the posh kid that had uh, the arist aristocratic training. Ah, you're a villain. You feel the same way about survival games? I prefer having a path of what to do rather than find your own fun. That's why I hate sandbox style games. Yeah, I, uh... I do like to be told what to do to some degree or have some kind of... some kind of path curated for me. I guess... I guess I, um... I don't know, in, in find the fun games, I don't, I don't have a lot of faith that there will be fun to find. Maybe that's it. Yeah, sadder than Peepo dying in Overblood. I gotta play Overblood, though. What a game. Starting today, I'll be taking Yasha under my wing. Phew. Planning on making him more stubborn than he already is. I should not have put him under your care in the first place. Ah! My student versus your student. How about we put their skills to the test after their training? Huh? I doubt you'd be able to train him well, but why not? But Commander, I hardly think a hot-headed ruffian like him would ever be a worthy opponent. Come again? Finland was very fun. It was awesome. Very cold. But very magical. People were very friendly. I had a lot of good meals. Good drinks? Let's not jump to conclusions now. We shall see in time. Oh, they weren't they weren't romantic rivals too, were they? Oh, there's a little Dan down there and an Akuma. Nice. One year later. Brother, where are you? Brother! Oh, Right. No, they wouldn't be romantic rivals then. I forgot. I forgot that Durga was his sister. And that they are brothers-in-law. That's right. Over here, Durga. There you are. Oh, and Asra is here too. You two really get along well, don't you? No, we don't. See what I mean? Ha ha ha. Ah, brothers. The final battle lies just ahead. Asura closes his eyes. He sees visions of lost loved ones, and the shadow of the one behind it all. It is time to keep his promise, to take back what was stolen from him. Vengeance is within his grasp. Next episode. Yeah, Dominic. This is uh, our PCS3. And it is gorgeous. She, again. she cries every time you leave the house. 
Whatever. I don't know what to do when she cries. Baby. The best I can do is punch anyone who makes her cry. Such a basic dude narrative. <laughs> I'll show my affection by murdering. How befitting of you. <laughs> right, Mithra? I will raise our daughter. Just do the dishes once in a while. You concentrate on making the world a safe place for her. Go forth and beat ass. Just do what you think is right. You're at your best when you're fighting for what's right. I do need to do the dishes, though. They're stacked up pretty bad. Please. Yeah, you can't punch the dirty laundry, can you? I mean, you can, but it doesn't get a lot done. As pupils. Please. Be safe. That's the scenes where uh where he's gotta be humanized. Still mad. That's true, Ultimate Zane. Chris O'Donnell does karate karate laundry in Batman Forever. Chris O'Donnell tried his hardest to make laundry cool. And many agree that he succeeded. That's how I do my laundry now. I'm always like flipping my wet underwear around with my toes. I'm always spinning wet socks around like nunchucks. Oh man. <laughs> Slinging water everywhere. Stephanie's screaming. Just doing laundry like a normal person. I'm a man, Steph. I do laundry like a man. Like Robin from Batman Forever. Man's man. Yep. Oh. A lot of galaxies around. Been collecting those? Hmm. There she goes. John Blade. Thanks for the sub. Good to see you. We have some subtle gaming today. Understated gaming. Leveled up once again. 
fully evolved. Don't worry, Earth. Wait, that's like actual Earth. I never really saw the land masses, but that was definitely Africa and Europe. All right. Wasn't expecting that. Goodbye, ghost wife. <laughs> Jedi Council's here. so rad. Could I love him more? Ladies, what would you do if you're a man with the size of a planet? Breath of the Wild stole this. It's true. I heard Fortnite is going to add a mode like this. Just a moon. Just kick things off light. I'll throw a moon at ya. I guess, yeah, that's that's probably the most efficient. Black hole? Woo. Sun's getting awful close. Sun's getting awful close there, stranger. Stick left to remember Yasha. Up to not get hit by laser, though. The duality of man. Remember Yasha or get hit by laser. Much to think about. Damn, that hurt a lot. 
Shit. Damn it. Oh, I got hit by both, man. I was trying to be aggressive so I wouldn't take the sun. That was pretty cool. Yeah, Christian, don't. All the episodes, well, I mean, they're called episodes in the game, and they all even have a mid episode break. Yeah. The show is honest with its inspirations. We did it. I am counting on you. Am I going to punch him? Look, you can't trust that face. Really dragging it out, man. Ah, oh, he's he's fine. Hmm. I guess everything worked out just fine. I refuse. Excellent. How dare you defy me? I will destroy you and your so-called world. That, that is Bubbled again. Must have been fun being in reality for a couple seconds. Cool. 
so why did he refuse the offer and punch the immortal deity? Because this deity sucks. This deity is totally lame and a complete buzzkill. Looks better, this or Starfield. Not everything bends to your will. I would rather look at this game than Starfield. Send him. Shit! Ah, tricks. Five lasers?
might be close. Sure, you can just his ass. Yeah, the callback. <laughs> Absolutely superb. Blah, mouth. Yep, Super Dragon Ball, isn't it? Alright, good. Glad it's still smooth as butter. I'm curious to see how the encoder can handle this stuff. I wonder what that is. Probably not supposed to look like that. Oh well. No worries. Oh. Hmm. Oh. That is the coolest thing. Like a flayed man.
Got spirit bombed. Happens. The Rickigan has I got hit. I should have got hit. I just hit the. I guess I just hit the prompt in time. It's a rough one to miss. Oh, I thought I dodged that. Shit! It's always just a little faster. Okay, I guess if he reaches back, I gotta book it. Huh? Huh? That's awesome. You've done enough. Him with the pose, though. Okay, you can punish that. See if I can get it this time. I didn't want to interrupt that actually. Oh my god! Yeah, if he does that on top of you, shit, what do you do? Oh, it's close.
hot take, quick time event mechanics for lazy game design, and I'm glad they're gone. You think they're gone? You played a Sony game lately? They haven't gone anywhere. They're still in the world's most popular single-player games. Yeah, I mean, he declared it a hot take. Or they declared it a hot take, I should say. Uh, it was appropriately labeled. Press left L to blast the soul out of this god creator of our universe. <laughs> yeah, accessibility options have helped a lot, including the ability to just turn them turn them straight off, which is nice. This ends now. Oh, you get to see their QTEs? Are they gonna start missing them? I understand it all. Or I have the sight now. I don't think I've ever seen an arm ripple and like a, a bone shatter in a video game before. Some fool who wants to rule the world. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Forcing others to do what they cannot do for themselves. Oh, out of stamina. He's so get any worse than this I guess if you're the god if you're god maybe give you uh Paki Nicandrios thank you very much for the generous generous cheer
Yeah, the Naruto full body tilt punch. Punched my daughter out of him. Excellent. Oh, that'd be a hell of a cutie you to miss, huh? Just obliterate your daughter. If you kill him, all the mantra will be lost. Oh, damn. Without mantra, you cannot survive. The stakes. But... You will still live. Man, the longest mash ever. Okay, it's speeding up a little bit. All right, all right. Oh shit, ultimate burst. I'll finish Final Fantasy 16 one of these days. Yeah, a lot of Hajime no Ippo in the super punches, too. Why do you always act so weird? Is the god screaming as it died? Strider, thanks for the cheer. Something poetic about a game this wild and unhinged having a final boss just be two guys slugging it out barefisted. Yes, the essence of combat. I didn't want this to happen. Ooh. I Shanu. Ishanu, thank you very much for the sub. I couldn't bear to see you suffer. Stupid. I mean, their their conflict had had like gone through multiple phases, though. Remember, it did start with flying through space, punching through a moon, getting a sun thrown at me. But yeah, it does always devolve down to like. My wrath. A bare knuckle test of wills. Finally. That's a one to one copy with Austria's Wrath in some instances. Uh. It's like a mash thing at the end. Sorry, the chat was moving. Dust Bunny, thanks for the sub. Aww. Favorite pastime is hanging with you on rainy days and revisiting some great games from childhood. I'm glad. Glad to be a supplier of cozy video gaming. Oh. Hey, Christian. Ooh, happy birthday. 29th birthday. Hopefully it's been a good one. Oh, that reminds me, I didn't have my birthday for Loco this year. Does that mean I've queued it up? Does that mean I can go to the liquor store and buy a four loco and drink it right now? No, it doesn't. I was thinking about it, but no, I'm in I'm in special elite training. It'll have to wait until next year. I had a lot of birthday beer, so I think I made up for it calorie wise. Buy the mythical five loco. It's what Everclear and supercharged lemonade. Yeah, I'll just save and do two next year. That way I can have grape and watermelon. I don't have to decide. Do Edward 40 hands? I did that already. 
Except, I thought Edward Forty Hands was too tame, so I did Edward Four Loco Hands. I'm not joking. That's the only time in my life I've blacked out. Uh, I remember it as though I were entering another reality. I had a Four Loco in one hand, or yeah, two Four Locos, basically. I was playing against my friend. She did two forties. And I was like, I need a handicap because I'm, I'm like, I have, the, I have the body mass and I was younger. <laughs> so I mistakenly thought that the goal was to win. You know, I came in to play. So I like, awesome. Oh, I thought I could control. Damn. Sure seems like you'd be able to control her flying around. So I came to game, right? And I like, I attacked my locos and I was like, yes, I win. And then, uh, we were about 15 minutes into Big Money Wrestlers at that point. And I remember uh, the audio started to go weird. Like I could hear it reverbing out like I was falling into a tunnel or, or into a into a well or something. So then my my uh, I remember specifically my cognition was on a rapid decline, but I did know that I needed water. And the last thing I remember is getting to the sink and turning the water on and then just staring at the water realizing I didn't know how to get it into my mouth. And that was, that was the last thing I remember before uh, having memories on the bathroom floor. I, at some point I did need to vomit and I didn't quite make it to the toilet. And I tried to help clean up while I was drunk, which didn't, at least that proved I, have, I had shame, I think. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, water in mouth, but how? Yeah, the, I have a very specific memory of staring at the water splashing into the sink. But I, I've, I rode the four, the eight loco. Actually, on my thirty, on my, let's see here. I think it was twenty twenty. Yeah, twenty twenty. Maybe twenty twenty one. My, like, 37th or 38th birthday? I don't want to do the math right now, but... I revisited my greatest achievement, and I had two Four Locos in one evening. And I didn't black out. I think I, like, booze cried later that night. The only time I blacked out, I ended up almost dying from hypothermia? Oh, shit. Well, I'm glad you didn't. Yeah, I'm stronger now. I'm stronger. I can drink more shittier luck liquor. Given that Rebirth is using the same engine with tweaks, do you think there's any chance of Rebirth PC in June when PS5 exclusivity is up? Uh, Rebirth? This June? Probably not. Probably be at least for a year. I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe publishers are, are whittling down those agreements. Hit creds on Power World. I did it. I'm the gamer. This isn't the end of the game, though. There's optional fights. And they're hard. Actually, while this is going... This is really nice music, so I don't want to skip anything, but I do need to use the restroom, so I'm going to be... I'm going to delicately step away for a moment. Right, I'll be right back.
return to you now at the end of the credits. You know, when you see Bink and Speed Tree. Hoping for a post credit scene. Oh, there's still more to the game. There's still more. Real Mr. Payne. Con or happy birthday. It's my 30th birthday. I've gotten a little under an hour getting fit chased. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. I haven't really I haven't really gone for it in a while. I think it's because I'd have to pour my own drinks. If you're in a bar or at a restaurant, like you can't just slam it like you can when you're at home. I uh oh there is post credits. Look at that. That's why God invented pregame. Yeah. Get some get some gasoline in the tank first. Black Forest games got hit with layoffs? Man. It's gonna be a weekly, if not even daily thing. It sucks. Like. And that. Man. Super sucks for any people entering the workforce. Like, now you have to compete with all these people What's who have a resume lived? five years and they're willing to work for, like, a little bit less. Boom. Hey, Leviathan Pulse. How's it going? Now let me add my protein drink. I have 800 calories left. Good. That's a, that's a healthy safety net for the evening. Pandemic pump is over. Everyone who overhired in 2020 is dropping peeps like crazy. Yeah, fake face. It's weird to me that, like, uh, I can't fault people for expressing sorrow, right? But the, the confusion is what's strange to me. I feel like everybody's like, games are, or game, like, companies are earning money. Where's all the layoffs happening? It's like, it's, yeah. There was a lot of investment. People overhired. Um, like there were no headlines. I guess there were some headlines in 2020. Acquisitions are what got most of the media coverage. But seriously, like every month, you'd see two or three studios announce that they were opening and working on something, which was great, fantastic. Then 2023, we saw a lot of those games start to release. Um, so I don't know. It sucks, but. Theoretically, and this is this is like by the math of it. Surely a lot of people got their breaks in the industry because of the hiring rush in 2020 and 21. It's paradoxical to see the line go up at the same time fire people because studios aren't earning enough. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But there's just so many games. I don't know that like... I, want, I don't know if there's any industry data about just the trends of sales. I'd love to know. Just like, I don't even know if you could get information like this, but the sheer stats of how many games ship, how many are profitable. Like even maybe broken out by budget size, team size. 870 million years later. Ha! Dear, 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 dear. Yeah! That's excellent. Look at that burger. Punching the burger right out of this dude's hands. Uh, what in the world? Are you insane? This guy doesn't know how to pick on someone his own size. 
no, she was just tiny, so I didn't see her. I just bumped into her. It was an accident. Wow, Daddy, you're so cool. Now look what you've done. She thinks fighting is cool. Sorry. We, j we just got goofs going on here. We just got fun goofs. Look at those burger girls, though. Okay. Astra attack or Astra attack burger. Is that the that the ranking you get for AAB? I don't think I'm going very fast at all. I don't have time for idiotic security cards. Get out of the way. Excuse me. I'm just doing my job trying to keep people safe. What you're doing is not safe at all. Safe Schmafe, I'm out of here. Hold up. It's even more dangerous on the road. These are all the funny little skits. To lift the spirits at the end. I don't remember this part. Look at the little cats. The Phantom of Hell. Huh. Random babe on the left side? Yeah. I think that's, uh, Sergei. Still a babe. You are all so lucky to be here and see my dance. Be grateful you were born in this generation. I'm just kidding. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I love you all. The world is beautiful. Okay, we're just seeing what all the generals are up to. Ah, uh, Weya Izu Japanese Fudo. Oh dear. That's not okay. Graffiti's pretty cool though. Kimono. I kind of like his expression, though. Uh, he's speaking too fast. I can't understand a damn word he's saying. Where in the hell can I find a Japanese restaurant? I'm starving. I want you to find some food, too, buddy. I had some ramen in Japan, and it was awesome. Boss, we don't have much time before the next meeting starts. There's an old man over there having trouble crossing the street. I can't just stand here and let that happen. But boss, we'll be late for the meeting. Enough! Don't make me repeat myself. He's gonna help the Pope cross the road. Oh my god, that's hot. God, he's wearing the glasses. He's got the dog tags. He's absolutely, positively stuffed into that tank top. My man's is overflowing. Good God. Wearing a smart little watch? Ugh. He's got like Western. He's got like Western neck. It's like thick, like Superman. Look, Uncle's here. What are you doing here? This isn't even the spot we plan to meet at. You were all so late, I thought you got lost or something. As usual, you worry too much. God, Ashra's wearing a big ass himbo top too. Ashra's got some tits, man. Look at that. Good job. As usual, you look like you yeah, you look like you just got in a, into a fight. <laughs> Sorry. I got tripped up seeing Western Neck wrote out in chat, but it is what I said. Like Western comic books. But yeah. Thick American neck. Ah! Is that a meteor? Oh, jeez. It's a big one. Everyone take cover. It's coming in fast. Ah! Oh. Ah! Is that Subway Street? Oh, that's nice. Helping across. 
Get back. Ooh. Here we go again. Yeah. To be continued. Wow, it's just like Castlevania Lords of Shadow. It's just like uh Dracula Untold. Whatever what was it called? Shit. Dracula Rising. Cool. Very cool. So I guess it's these two? These are the optional ones? One of the world's greatest warriors appears before Asura. His name is Ryu. He challenges Asura to a duel and they exchange punches in an intense battle. Ryu is suddenly consumed by the Satsui no Hado. All right. Okay. That's okay, Capcom. Oh, that's music. I'm trying to remember what version of Ryu it was. The Street Fighter 4 Ryu, right? It doesn't have the beard, I don't think. Fuck yes! Ah! Sick. That's hype as fuck, man. Ah. Now where could this be? Huh? Well, it wouldn't be the first time I've sent, been sent off to some strange land. Who the hell are you? I am Ryu. Who's asking? Asura. Asura, is it? How about it? Care for a match? Huh? You look like a worthy opponent. You have no idea. The question is, are you? Well... Dude. Awesome. Round one! <laughs> Dive kick! Oh, you got me. Can't, can't block. Ooh! It got me with the, got me with the DP. Alright, alright, alright. I can't block. Holy crap, that hurt a lot. Sick. Ooh, man, that slide punch. That's a good one. Yeah, Tykwer, this was this was one of the DLCs. Round one. Ooh, yep. That was good, that was good. Fuck. <laughs> 
damn it. I'm not looking at my cooldown. Wow. Yeah, that wake up DP. I won't learn my lesson, will I? Sucks. I thought I could bait it. Wrecked. Damn. You hyped for Tekken 8? I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I haven't thought about it much, but now that it's on the verge of coming out, I'm really excited to play it. I am on hard, how tough am I? So, that might be why Ryu is, is just battering me. Fuck! Okay, I think you have to roll once and then walk to be able to hit that connection. Hey, Yeasty, thanks for gifting a sub. Shit. I need the one win. <laughs> no, I guess I need two in a row. I forgot I have I have punches. Ugh. I wonder if I have to win two in a row on him. Or if they're going to let me continue from round two. Hey, that was dumb. That was so weird. You could stagger out of it and then get hit by other hits from it. God, completely shredded up. Round one. Fight. Ah, I don't know why I'm doing that. All right, he is Ryu. That sucks. Oh, 
DJ Yeasty, gifting 10 subs. Thank you. You Street Fighter fan? I appreciate it. It's really, really generous of you. See, I... Normally, my problem in this situation is I'm playing too aggressive. Just to just, like, size up my defense, but I have none. I can't guard. <laughs> Rolling in seems safe most of the time. I'm already rolling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, Ryu seems to let me get those last two hits if I just mash out the combo, so that's helpful. Was that round two or not? Nine, no. Seven. You have to beat him twice in a row. Round one. Does he get harder? Shit. I can't tell if his if his AI changes or I just got really unlucky. You lose. Or I got really lucky for the first round. Dude, you have to be like a mashing dodge to not eat that right off the top. I guess that's pretty guaranteed. You could probably just sit back and wait for that. So recovering from throwing a fireball. Which I guess you don't do when your opponent has meter, sure. But usually you can recover and like block if it's full screen like that. Round one. Fight. Oh now he doesn't fireball. What? This slide punch stayed so long. Man, he was just like, nope. Uh-uh. Oh, it's okay, Pop Tart. 
I knew these were gonna be these were gonna be raunchy. I'm already rolling. What? No! He got me in the startup to the roll. He must have. I was for sure hitting roll. Ugh. That was that was wacky. I, I I already thought I was rolling. Round one. That's interesting. You can catch the tail end of it. Now. Oh my god. I can't just stay back and wait for the windmill kick either, because he'll just throw shit at me that I can't block. I think this might be a 60 FPS bug? The ridiculous damage he's doing? I think? Uh, can't roll back. Okay, I'll try to pick my moments more, I guess. I guess you keep fighting him until your burst fills up as usual. So I don't have to beat him again, I just need burst. Might do it actually. Shit! Fuck, is that gonna one shot me? Oh, that wasn't so bad. That was sick though. Excellent. I'm glad I ate one of those. Hatred incarnate. Nice. Yeah, round three. Round three! Now this is more like a, a Osiris Wrath fight, if I recall correctly. I'm glad to hear that, Christian. 
Well, hopefully you, you guys have a, a fun evening. Oh, this gee even turned purple. <laughs> yeah, this is DLC, Kenny Lewis. <laughs> Optional boss fights. <laughs> fucking sound. <laughs> Yeasty, thanks for gifting another sub. no prompt either. I just got grabbed with it because I was there. Ow. Ow. Oh, he punched the... He punched the fucking part back down. And then killed me. Still got some balls <laughs> left in there, boy! Nice. 
<laughs> like real Street Fighter. Sick as hell. You're pretty good. You're not so bad yourself. That wasn't the true me. Let's have another go. You'll just end up losing. What? What do we have here? Your skills show promise. Mysterious. Intruder. Weighing 395 pounds from parts unknown. Excellent. Well, I gotta, I gotta look it up again. <sighs> I'll never forgive fucking Twitter for renaming their domain because now it like screws up searching your history. Your browser history, I mean? so much. I'm linking in chat again. I <laughs> didn't realize we all tabbed. Yeah, you could, you'd be forgiven, I think. Most perfect six seconds. Ah, uh, yeah, Ponte, you've recommended that before, right? I don't know. There's too many games to play. There's too many. Oh, that's right. It's the fighting game, right? Two nurses, I guess. <laughs> a gas mask guy. Why is he wearing a gas mask and like a button up shirt? I'm gonna guess there's a, there must be a translation or something. Yeah, actually it does look sick. Oh, there it is, oh, right there. literally me T2 storyline rip to the fighting huh all 
All right. It got me thinking. It got me thinking. Story mode is awesome, yeah. What kind of cutscenes are there? It's got to be just... Is it just like photos with text boxes? I mean, I don't have a problem with that. Okay. A lot of references. I'm afraid I won't get all the references. Just one more fight. Yes, there is. Akuma. Evil, yeah, phase two Ryu wasn't that bad. Evil Ryu. He had to fight in my domain with my moveset. In my opinion, how far are we from a new DMC game or remake? Ah, uh, that's, that's tough to say. I mean, Capcom, I'm sure, is working on one. But who knows if it's like fully greenlit and on its way to production at some point. Or in full production. I'm sure they're always prototyping. I have no idea. They have such a full slate and have released so much software that I don't like, I don't, it doesn't feel like there's a wing of Capcom that's dedicated to developing another Devil May Cry yet, but I don't know. Mission mode has been unlocked. I don't really follow Capcom too closely. Capcom? Or sorry, Captain. <laughs> Capcom Severa, guys. You follow Capcom pretty closely, right? Oh, jeez. Get out of here with that. Missions. After his battle with Ryu, Asura is confronted by Akuma, the fighter who seeks to surpass all. They clash in a fierce battle that escalates onto both of their transformations. Or into. Akuma into Oni and Asura into Mantra Asura. Nobody knows how far their battle will take them past the limits of their humanity. Alright. The ultimate battle. Luckily, I already know all of Akuma's moves. I don't remember how bad the Akuma fight was. I remember Ryu being pretty rough. What do we have here? Your skills show promise? goes. I like to imagine that's what it's like whenever I like kill somebody in a multiplayer game and then they disconnect. It's like I've shot them off the internet. A new warrior has entered the ring. Awesome. You have a spirit that thirsts for battle. Your name, Osra. Ugh. Satisfy my hunger for power, God of Wrath. Do not call me a god. Round one. Ah, crap. Do this. Oh! Ryu didn't do that. Oh, 
shit. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my. My stars and goddess. You lose. This music is good. I like this a lot. Round one. Okay, I can't do that anymore. Cancel! Whoa! Oh. That was a that was a fine hello. All right, Akuma. All right, all right, all right. I'm figuring it out. Bro, they got to pick my moments a little, a little fierce. Well. I can punish a lot of this stuff, it just requires being real, real, real tight with the timing. I gotta like... Yeah, you gotta catch him on recovery and he doesn't have much. Shit! Things that should be layups like that just aren't. God! I can do a focus attack? You lose. Maybe. Round one. Christ. What the fuck? Woo! Man. You lose. I don't see a lot of consistency in how to punish anything. Fuck! Sheesh. Round one. Fight. Oh, I hit him. 
Fuck. Holy shit! Taking one... One fucking windmill kick. That's like 80% of my health. Yeah. I think uh, I think the dash punch will... Like, it's got such a bigger hitbox that that might help me open up. Open him up a little bit more. Oh my gosh, man. Round one. Might be the play here. I'm gonna have half burst. GG yet. Thank God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Burst out of 2D fighting. I think this was before they added Oni to Ultimate Street Fighter 4. Maybe not. Maybe it was around the same time. That's so cool that they reuse that set piece in both ways. Yeah, back up we go. Oh, my God. 
that. What are you doing? Oh, okay. <laughs> ah. Ooh, he got me. Fucked. I'm still dead, though. No? Not yet? <laughs> Just one little boop. What the hell just happened? button. No, no, no. Ugh. Press left to pay respects.
Oh no! They battled the moon in half. Hey, PKO Net. Thank you very much for the sub. 47 months? Close to the big four a year, but happy Wednesday to you. some first person stuff like like Dragon Ball Brawly did not quite to that extent but yeah I remember when the moon split in half outrageous That doesn't really look like an Earthland mass. I wonder if some of these cutscenes were rendered at less than 720p so it just doesn't scale all the way. What level of Pal World is this? This is the hidden Easter egg after the end of the credits in Pal World. S secret Pal World ending here. Oh, can't put the controller down though. No, we're not done yet. Locked in eternal battle. And they punched each other for 500 years. Some say they're still punching each other out there. And it to be continued. Fantastic. My god. Uh, now for the ultimate super duper after credit sequence. And I gotta admit, my uh my right forearm's a little a little activated right now. A lot of mashing happening. Yeah, what a game, though. What a game. What a game. The boss fights in this are more mechanically replete than in some other beat-em-ups I've played. Like, full, honest beat-em-ups or whatever. It really does hit, like, a good... Like, the beat-em-up part of it is not bad. Uh, it's got the, like, Capcom hit, like, freeze, freeze framing that really sell when you're getting hit and why. Super, super useful. And then, yeah, the... You cannot beat the the animation quality and the cinematography. All in engine, or all, mostly in engine too, which is uh, the only reason that it's it's scaled through time so well. Uh, Pocky, thank you for gifting another sub. I feel that's like I'm obviously not saying it as like a British slang, so hopefully it doesn't. It's it's a little well, whatever. 
<sighs> I am the wrath of Asura. I am. On hard, no less. True gamer difficulty. Hmm, I've never seen that in credits before. Yeah, I'll check it out later, Pop Tart. Da -da 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 -da. Capcom's been trying. Always been trying. Yeah. Wrath of Law Dog was like 10 years ago. This is just the exhausted with humankind Law Dog. Is there a sequel? <laughs> oh. No, there is not. This game did very little other than anger everyone when it came out. Which is a shame. Again, the first of, well, by my reckoning, one of the one of the earlier and more tragic circumstances when gaming consensus completely wrote off a game that actually had a lot to offer. Uh, it happens sometimes. Having the Truning B DLC was nuts. It's only nuts on paper. If you play the game, it really doesn't feel... I'm fine with it. I'm fine with it. But it was like... On paper, it was the exact thing that everyone was afraid of, right? Which is ironic, because the only reason games were getting popular at the time wasn't because the stories were good or people gave a shit about the, like, quality of the characters. It was because... Infinity Ward added leveling to online shooting. Yeah, Capcom... Capcom... tried to find ways to make some more money in this era, and... at least in the United States, people were very, very, very... unwelcoming of any of their techniques. They weren't necessarily ex properly explained or, uh... or messaged well back in the day, but... Oh, thank you, Daniel. Yeah, Banana Bunch was really fun to shoot fun to act. It'd be fun to do that more, but I don't think anybody's waiting for my uh, performing talents to just tumble into their projects. Well, Solo Jorge, that's good to hear. Maximilian Dude is a real one. One of the few. One of the few real ones we got. A lot of people really do kind of, kind of sand down the their opinions to be more publicly palatable. No thank you. I'll take a small chat that endures my fiery and needlessly contrarian opinions. I don't know, Ma man, Maximilian Dude is the coolest, though. I don't know how you get that popular and still still keep it real, you know? I don't get it. The man's, the man's a wizard. Maybe they, they probably shouldn't have called it true ending, you know? There's, there's some things they could have done to make people hate it less. Ah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful video game. Thank you, Capcom and CyberConnect2 for everything you did. You tried. Ah, and thank you, audience, for watching the stream. Ah, this game rocks. If there's one thing I love, it's, it's maybe, maybe shining a little more light on the good work in the world of video games. Uh, that's what, that's what makes me feel like I've done something good. And also this game rocks, so think a little more kindly on Ashra's Wrath. And, uh, maybe if Capcom decides to release something that isn't branded, I don't know, maybe it's called an Exoprimal, maybe don't write it off right away. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I wanna spend, uh, I wanna spend the evening with Steph tonight. I've been streaming pretty late the past couple of nights. Uh, 
Yeah, Solo Jorge. Started watching him last year. I was skeptical on his opinions and his words because they seemed contrarian, but he kept backing up his opinions with videos and articles from the Times and sometimes literal work experience. It's hard to dislike someone with valid and fact-based opinions. Yeah. I agree. I agree. There's And, and it's unfortunate because if you care about the truth and if you care about, like, respecting people who aren't in the room, that's a problem with gaming a lot. There's a lot of, like, abstracting out and assigning fuzzy things you don't like to, to, like, groups of people and blaming them for things. It can be difficult when you see how the sausage is made to, to just, like, be cool with that. Because it's like, no, it's not like that. Like, people really are trying their hardest. It's just complicated and hard. Very, very challenging. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, Max knows intuitively what topics to avoid. I don't have to do that because uh, I don't have to manage a, a giant chat. And when you have like, God, when you have thousands of people watching you, it's, it's, it's just more efficient to conduct yourself in a manner that avoids trouble. Now, I'm, uh, I tend to be pretty confrontational, <laughs> which is not good. Um, and I'm also lucky because when audience dynamics get larger, you have to worry about that too. Like politics actually matter. Uh, you can't have people revolt on you and there are people who act in bad faith that try to provoke you and then try to like make examples of the way you 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 treat them and they provoke you and try to get in yeah uh, yeah cyber cyber dud it's it's easier to pick out troublemakers or or um I think the ideal is to for maybe people that are used to a certain conversation dynamic to maybe massage them towards a different method of communicating. That's that's the best. But to do that can be a challenge. You don't want anyone to feel defensive or ganged up on, and that that's a that's a tricky thing about about Twitch streaming. Ryan Peters, thank you for the sub. Appreciate it. All right. Uh, yeah. Uh, in conclusion, Maximilian Dude is is fucking awesome. Osiris Wrath is also fucking awesome. A whole lot is fucking awesome out there, and playing awesome games like this reminds me of it. Uh, all right, the Capcom, the Capcom train doesn't slow down, actually. The next game on my backlog is Dragon's Dogma. I really want to finish that before Dragon's Dogma 2 comes out. Or should it be 7 Remake? Maybe I should finish 7 Remake off stream and get a hard, hard mode run ready. One of those two. I also want to finish uh, Unchained Echoes before Infinite Wealth comes out. So, you know... Uh, there's just too many good video games. And then, yeah, there's all there's all Call of Duty. Uh, there's there's just a lot of good stuff. Did you ever beat 7 Remake DLC? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. And that has its own hard mode, doesn't it? You don't get hard mode in that by default. All right, I'll be back tomorrow. Uh, probably with Dragon's Dogma, maybe with Call of Duty, Black Ops DS. Uh, maybe something else. Who knows? Thank you, thank you everyone for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all next time. Stay gamer, everyone.